All right, let's get started then. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let me just uh, bring the folk that I need to bring up. When will the game start? The game's dying now, um, actually. Um, well, at least it should be starting now. Let me just change the uh, move this picture off the um, overlay thing. Um, there we go. All right, I put out announcements and stuff, so we should hopefully have uh, stuff. And by stuff, I mean people uh, coming to play customs with us. Because uh, that's always good when you have uh, actual people show up to the customs. Um. Alright, um, is everything alright with the stream? Let me know. There is no password. Uh, I guess I'll start with uh, some team deathmatch. Let's see if people join. Hopefully, people join. Because, uh, rather unfortunate. Alright, we got Zippy <laughs> as the first one. Hello, Zippy. I don't know if you're in the watching the stream or whether you're just in the game, but hello. Oh, jeez. Uh, I'm just uh, checking my phone. Rather not good. Beer back in high. Okay, so we got Balas and Auron coming in. Um, hello, Bala in the chat. Or Luminati. As you are called out. Okay, we got a Crescent. Oh, I haven't seen a Crescent in a while. Balas, is it your new uh, nickname? Yes, uh, Balas is now Luminite. Or Luminite. Alright, um, so we'll just wait for, uh, for more people. Uh, spread the word, anyone. Um, Yeah, I'm uh, just trying to get um, people, more people in. Uh, tell as much people as possible, um, get as many to play, and then we can have a good time. I haven't casted, uh, well, I haven't done custom games in quite a long time. And obviously, um, I did the, the, the casting of the last tournament, and there is going to be a tournament coming up soon, which everyone should, um, everyone should sign up for. That is on the 19th. Of March, I want to say, nineteenth and twentieth, I believe. And um, I will cast them. You can also make announcements in the group as well, Mickey. You and Liquid both have power. Okay, fair enough. Use it wisely. All right. Um. Well, at the moment, we only have uh, we only have four people, which is actually fine. Um. We can quickly get us. Um, might as well make a start of doing some stuff. Uh, so we will get in with uh, with these ones if everyone is ready. Um, if Aaron's here because he did say he was going to be be right back. We will find out. I know shortly. Hopefully, I won't have any kind of connection issues with the stream because sometimes it randomly decides to do that. Um, but uh, it seems to be okay at the moment. But then again, we'll have to get into it and see what it what it does. Um, if anyone wants to kind of like put out that we're streaming and uh, doing custom games anywhere, uh, that'll be really useful. You know, try and get as many people in because obviously we can get more people to play the game. Uh, I'll come back to the game. That'll be great, you know. Build a community. Uh, can't be bothered, people. All right, I'm just gonna do this just to start off with. Um, do a nice little two versus two. Uh, on the left side, we've got. Um, oh my god, I don't know how to say his name. I'm gonna call him Chasm. 
This is your chasm on the end of his name. We've got chasm and zippy, and on the right side we have got Auron and Ballas. I was just reading the chat. Uh, Zippy, of course, the only one wearing his uh, wearing affinities. The reason why he apparently wears affinities is because he is one laggy person, and he needs to make up for the fact that he's lagging all the time. So, we've got both players coming in from the um, well, all four players coming in at the top, and we kind of split into this little fight. We've got Zippy fighting against Allround and Balas fighting against Chasm uh, at the bottom. Um, Balas kind of switching his attention between the two, trying to provide some support. And Zippy's actually taking a lot of damage. But Chasm coming in with the heals for Ballas with that block using his thing. It looks like Zippy is about to go down, but all around as well. Ballas has to come back and start healing up and kind of just resetting at this point. Um, as people, um, yeah, they just had to reset because both of them are extremely low and neither of them wanted their teammate to die. So, Ballas now having to, to get healed up by um, Auron, but uh, Chasm tries to move back away, but he gets caught in that steam, so took a lot of damage. But Zippy straight away with those heals. Auron almost getting frozen, but he was in the correct ward, thankfully. And now Balor's pulling back, he's going to start healing up Aura and Zippy gets a uh, side being a bit... Well, <laughs> Balor's with the, uh, uh, with a beam flying about like crazy there. And again, we get into this little fight between Balor's and Chasm, Zippy and uh, Aura, and it seems that, um, well, I was going to say, it seems that they're both about to go down, and Balor's does take out Chasm, and it looks like Zippy is about to follow. So that is a win for the, uh, well, this is uh, Team Lemons, technically, because Balor's and Aura are from Lemons. So it's essentially Lemons versus Random... Uh, random pair of people. So, uh, green team actually going for like a, a larger split this time. So now Chasm's coming in from the bottom, which means that they're now further away from the, the top pair. So it's going to be more of an isolated fight between the two. But Ballas is actually in a better position because he can provide support to his teammates, whereas Chasm is completely out of position. Ballas getting frozen by his own mind zone. Is he going to get shattered? He almost gets shattered by um, Chasm there, but it seems that he uh, didn't charge that rocket long enough. And Oran has managed to take out uh, Zippy. Uh, but Arrive comes in from from Chasm, and so now Zippy is back up and he goes straight away down to Auron's Lightning, making full use of the fact that Zippy wasn't is inside of um, plus uh, plus Earth. And again, that is a win um, into the Lemon's favor. Apparently, uh, I've not dropped any frames, so that's good. Um, hello, people that are joining the chat. I see the numbers of viewers going up and down, but I don't know who exactly is in the chat. So if you want to like say hi in the chat, then I know who's there, uh, but it's up to you. So we've got a split between the two. I don't know where Chasm is going. Chasm needs to be running all the way around the back, and Ballas is just chasing after him. Uh, Zippy taking a lot of damage. Ballas actually hit him with that rock there, but it seems that Auron is taking a lot of damage. He does go down. Uh, Ballas straight away with that revive. Get his team back up, and he needs to start healing them. Auron with the teleport away, and it seems like Zippy is going to try and follow. He does teleport across, uh, but Auron is managing to heal up. No problem. Uh, but uh, Chasm does go in with that, um, with that beam, it does block the heals from Balas. Balas straight away swapping to uh, heal rocks to make the most of the fact that people um, they were going to be trying to block those uh, heal beams. So now we've got this same fight, it just seems to be Auron and Zippy fighting it out in Chasm and Balas. Um, I don't know why it just always seems to go this way, and Balas being more of a support. Auron is well known to, to being more aggressive. And so he seems to, he, get, he really gets in the thick. It's good having a good supporting player in Balas in the back. Uh, Chasm and Zippy, obviously, they don't really play together, so they don't really have the same kind of um, synchronization that you get from, from these two players. But Zippy doing a great job of healing up Chasm there. Uh, but unfortunately, Zippy only got the half ward there, so he took quite a bit of damage. Uh, well, he took some damage from Auron's, um, from uh, his mind, and it seems that Balas is about to go down, but Chasm pushed forward a bit too much, and Balas does manage to take him out using those mines. So it is a 2 versus 1 Zippy. Does have enough for a revive, but it's a matter of whether he's actually going to go for it. I feel that he should go for it, but he's being forced back by Auron and Balas, and it seems at this point he's not going to be able to get the revive if he is too far away. He's going to go for the run, and they are trying to follow him. Is he going to get it? Balas comes through the teleport, he takes him out just as he gets revived, and he crashes my game. So thank you very much for crashing my game. All right, we'll just uh, we'll jump straight back into this. Uh, let me just load this back up. Ah, uh, good old bugs from. Uh from Wizard Wars. It wouldn't it wouldn't be Wizard Wars without them. Alright. So we'll just uh get back into this. Yeah, uh Balor and uh are on one. So hopefully we get more people this time. I will have to recreate um a lobby so if anyone is listening and gonna be playing, watch out for my new lobby coming up. Um it does seem that we have a few people. 
Uh, I don't know how many exactly people will be joining us. Not that many people. It seems to be online at the moment. So we got Zippy and Oron coming in. Um, oh my god, Buzz, I want the party chat open. There we go. Um, is that what I wanted to do? Well, I've got the chat open here, so I can just click on the side and have a look and see if there is anything there. Um, so everyone in there is playing. Hopefully, we get. I'm just. I just hope more people kind of uh, come into this, and we'll see if we can get some more. And we just seem to have the same four people at the moment. But yeah, spread the word, people. You know, uh, put out announcements. Let people know that we are currently uh, doing custom games and streaming. Obviously, uh, Palace is apparently hosting me. Thank you for that one viewer. Um, every little helps. And so I guess we're gonna do this again. I will separate the teams up. I put uh, Auron with uh, Kazan this time, and we'll do Zippy and Bala. And we'll see how this goes. Um, I'm going to put it on random. Um, don't know if we're going to get the same map or not. Um, or it's just going to be... Uh, or we could end up with the caves. But uh, we shall see. Um, so now, uh, well, people could watch you ballet because they, um, they get a... I don't know. It depends if you're actually talking while you're doing it or whether you're just playing. Because otherwise then it would just be... Um, it would just be me. So on the green side we've got Auron and Chasm, and the right side we have got Zippy and Ballas. So uh, we are on the um, the miners camp thing again. I want to see how this goes. So we got everyone coming in from the top, and again Auron and Zippy fighting it out, and Ballas and Chasm fighting it out uh, again. And we'll have to see if it goes the same way. Um, I think the Chasm has been taken out straight away by Ballas, and Auron isn't looking like he's going to um, quickly be followed. And he does get taken out, but Bowser goes down as well. Uh, so, Nobody bit of a bit of an upside there for Auron, but uh, unfortunately, do not win that round. So we'll have to see if they can uh, they can pull us back. So we got green team going down the bottom and red team up the top. So we're gonna fight and uh, meet in the middle in some kind of diagonal. Everyone firing their projectiles in the wrong uh, wrong positions. Uh, so we actually have a swap this time. We got Zippy and Chasm fighting it out, and Balas and Auron. Um, and it seems that Oren is um, doing a lot of damage to uh, Dabalas, he's, uh, he's getting forced away. Uh, Balas is on such low health and Oren just being extremely aggressive. Zippy comes in with the heals and he does manage to get some. Chasm is extremely low and he almost managed to take out Zippy, but then Balas comes in with the heals again. Chasm has been taken out and it seems that Oren uh, may be quick to follow as both of them come in. He does get the revive off on Chasm, but Zippy quickly takes his attention back to Chasm and he's going to start trying to take him down as Balas is trying to finish off Oren. Uh, Chasm just can't seem to get back up after from that revive. Zippy trying to hit him with the, um, is this a bad idea? I don't know what it's called. The, uh, the little bag of confetti, or whatever that is called. I think it's something to do with a party. Um, but it seems that Chasm is almost going to get frozen. He just managed to get that ward in time. Zippy coming around, he does take him out. Uh, I don't know if Balas managed to hit him there or not. But he gets taken down by the, uh, almost joint effort of the Zippy and Balas. And now Oren having to fight against two people, but Balas taking a lot of damage. But I'm guessing that Zippy's going to start, um, well he could have started providing the heals, but it seems that Balas and Zippy are in a bit of a bad situation, they can't really heal each other. Uh, Zippy is opting to to uh, leave them to it, so let's see if uh, who's going to win between these two lemon players. We have got Oron and Balas. Now, um, um, oh wow, good freeze there from Balas. Um, used it more to buy himself some time, rather than actually ca uh, making the most of it, so good storm there by Oron, but unfortunately Balas did use the... Uh, cold lightning so it did get rid of that steam storm straight away and both of them are extremely low health um Auron pushing forward now he gets a big heal from those mines using the most of the uh, the fact that he is in edd so he's not getting pushed by those mines both of them now stuck in the middle Auron tries to go for the melee swing but Balas did have that ward on and they both are extremely low health this is um a nice little fight here uh Balas gets knocked down hit by all those mines but uh, comes in with those melee swings such low health right now and Balas almost goes down oh good lightning block there and again he's starting to uh, to heal back up, and now he's going to be aggressive and push forward. But unfortunately, Oren had to put up that beam, uh, that beam, put up that dome, um, and so he didn't manage to water push him enough, and he got taken out. So now we've got a fight between Oren and Zippy, uh, doing the standard um, placing of wall to uh, get ready to go into the fight. So Zippy is, of course, using uh, plus Earth. I don't know if he has any other affinities on. Um, I, I don't know exactly. He has got plus. It's a hundred. He's got plus forty-five, so it make it would make me think that he has got something else. And both of them almost getting uh, frozen. That Oren taking a huge amount of damage as uh, Zippy tries to come in with those mines. Gets hit by that wall. He wasn't a half wall, so he almost gets taken out. Oren tries to come in with the lightning, but Zippy does manage to put down a wall, um, a storm, just in time to stop that. And he pushes him back. And now Zippy is trying his best to get back up. 
you can tell that Zippy is um, definitely definitely knows how to play inside of this gear as he does put down those storms in really a uh, really good time to make sure he blocks the lightning because he knows that he is going to take a lot more damage from them. Uh, so now, yep, again, so you can see how quick um, Zippy knows to put down that lightning, uh, those uh, storms to make sure he blocks the lightning so he doesn't take as much damage. Play for fun, posting something in the, uh, the chat. I don't know, like, um, what you call it, Twitch emotes and stuff, I don't follow that that kind of stuff. So Auron uh, seems to be on the uh, the upper hand here, he constantly seems to be in uh, higher health, but Zippy is doing well to defend. But now Auron's coming in, he's trying his best to take out Zippy, and he's on such a low health and he does get taken down by that storm. So they have managed to win um, a round, because Auron can, uh, Auron can win the one versus ones. Unfortunately, they don't seem to be able to win these two, uh, the two versus twos at the start. So green team coming in from the top, red team on a uh, split path here. Uh, so we got Balas and Aura fighting out at the bottom, Zippy and uh, Chasm at the top, and Balas coming in with the the cold uh, from the the fire heal straight away, trying to heal up Zippy. But Zippy is in such a bad position right now. He but he does take out Chasm. He's on such low health. Aura straight away to the heals, tries to come in, um, take him out with the lightning, but Zippy straight away with those um, with the storm, and he teleports and takes out Chasm. It's not looking good. For the uh, for the green team, and so now Oran is going to get start getting attacked by both sides. Uh, we'll have to see if they are going to opt. I think they are going to opt to go for a two versus one rather than uh, doing the one versus one, as it didn't really work out for them last time. Uh, so Oran is taking a huge amount of damage. Zippy actually took a lot of uh, damage there as well. I don't think he quite um, realized uh, that he's been a bit too aggressive. But a lot of mine comes in, and Balas does. Uh, Balas, Oran does get taken out by Balas. Um, from those uh, double mines from both players. So, um, I think this this would have been won by now if they didn't do the uh, the, the one versus like the little duels in the middle. But um, this is just the way it's gone. Um, you know, they, they figured they'd give Oren a chance, and he made the most of that. And now they are uh, fighting together. But it seems that um, Chasm and Oren don't really uh, mold together very well. Uh, just based on how they, their play styles, they end up getting into these one versus ones and don't really heal up like Chasm right now. They take a huge amount of damage. Oren does try to come in with those heals, but Balas with that rock straight away taking him out. So now Oren is on his own. Um, he's going to have to try and survive against these two people. It is possible he could uh, possibly try and do it, but those mines doing a lot of a lot of damage to Oren. He's taking a huge amount. of Balas comes in with the arcane rock and does manage to finish him off. So. That is the end of that one. Oh wow. Oh there we go. We've got a lot of people in here now. Alright, so let's uh Um I don't know how many people we have. We'll have to uh pick some captains, I guess. Um who do we want as the captain? I'm just gonna have Oran and Balas and Captains Oran. Umbala captains are on pick one person. Let's move uh, Zippy off there for. Okay, so Oren has gone for Solar. Bala pick two. That kind of type. Bala pick two. And he's going for Afrot. And oh, I could click. And liquid question mark. If he wants to go for liquid, you can go for liquid. Auron pick two. That's really annoying. Every time I press the, I press P on my keyboard, it makes me do the uh, the emote in the background. Zippy always wins. He didn't win the the one before. Um, Auron has gone for Zippy and Mungle. Um, so Zippy, Mungle. And then Balas gets one. Can't even. I can't. Can't spell. So he gets a choice between Mister Mister uh, Miscus. Miscus. I don't know how to say his name. Pikes of the Superior Fish. Apparently, that's a C, not an E. That clearly doesn't say Pike. Um, Balas is not. So, oh, I thought you meant listing. I thought you meant listing to be yours. I I do not know. And if Balas gets to pick, let's go with I love Maj Maj Dyke Dyke Dick. I don't know. Either way, both of them are not particularly great words. Uh, I don't know who he is. Um, I put Chasm um, into here. I apologize, Miss Mystique. I'm going to call you 
So let's just jump straight in. Um, no waiting around. So no one on TeamSpeak. Yes, Zippy, you, why do you even go in TeamSpeak? You don't talk to people. You just sit there and listen. Anyway, on the left-hand side, we have got the green team consisting of Mungle, Solar, Zippy, and Auron. On the red side, we have got Balas, Afrod, Liquid, and I Love Magic. I'm going to call it. I'm just going to call him Magic. Or maybe not. I'm going to call him Love. Or maybe. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. My brain will pick something as we go through this. So, we've got everyone coming into the middle. Um, one person on the red side is not moving. We've got Magic. He's not uh, seem to be doing anything. Okay, now he is moving. So, we've got a big clash of people fighting it out. So, at the bottom here, we've got Balas, Mungle, and Zippy fighting out. But now, um, we've got Magic coming in. He is going to start helping out Balas. So, we've got a 2 vs 2 on um, on the top and bottom, Balas and uh, Zippy taking uh, fighting it out there. Zippy taking a lot of damage from Mungle straight away, coming in with those heals. Looking at the top, Liquid has been taken out uh, by Auron and Solo. Solo is extremely low health there, but uh, uh, Auron quickly in with those heals, gets frozen by Afro, and he does get taken down. Really well done by Afro with that um, that freeze. And so now Zippy is going to start attacking Afro. It is currently three versus three. Afro on such low health, but uh, Magic coming in with those heals. Solo now trying to take him down. But Afro comes across here. Uh, ooh, Afro has managed to take out Zippy as well. I didn't quite notice that. Uh, I apologize there. So it is currently a 3 versus 2 in Red Team's favor. Balas comes across with those heals. Uh, not really focusing on himself. He's taking a huge amount of damage. Magic should start healing him now. And he is going to start doing that. Uh, thankfully, Balas now uh, getting back up. And we got Sola and Afro fighting out. So we've got two Legion members on this side. Uh, Afro and Sola. Uh, Sola is not Sola. Oh, it is Sola. Sorry. Sola healing up Bungle there. So we kind of uh, separate out, we've got the three reds on one side and we've got the two greens on the other. We'll have to see how this uh, how this kind of goes. We've got Solar and Mungle doing really well to uh, kind of hang into this, but um, they need to, uh, well they have to do something. Uh, they don't. They, they both actually have enough for a revive, I'm surprised that neither of them have actually gone for it. Solar taking huge amounts of damage, um, Mungle unfortunately has been blocked off by Afro, but Balas has been taken down. Magic straight away with that revive. Maybe now Solar realizes that he does have enough for a revive and he could go for it. But now Afrod is going to come for him. So someone has revived Zippy. Zippy has moved across. Orn has been revived now as well. And so it is currently a 4 vs 3. Liquid has not been put back up. But it seems that Solar is on extremely low health. Both of these two Legion members extremely low. Afrod with the water push and lightning combo. He does manage to take out Solar. So all revive straight away coming in for... Oh, well, straight away. But coming in for someone. It is currently a 3 vs 3. Uh, revive comes in, but unfortunately they miss the revive and they do not manage to get up liquid solid gas. And it seems the red team are in a very bad situation after missing that revive. And so now Magic is, uh, is the final person and he's just stuck between these two people and is going to go down. So that is a win in the green team's favor. Alright, so let's see how this one, uh, this, this round goes. It doesn't seem like it's completely one-sided. Um, it seems to go back and forth. So I like to see these kind of matches um, where it's uh, nice and nice and even, not not completely uh, dominated by one team. So at the bottom here, we've got Mongol, Solar, Balas, and Magic fighting, and then we've also got Auron and Afrod having a little scrap there. Liquid Solar Gas has been taken down by Zippy, it seems, and so now Zippy is coming around from behind. He's going to start putting uh, putting on pressure and Afrod um, in the air for some reason. I think he was on top of that wall somehow. Mm, excuse me. So Bal is taking a lot of damage there. Magic trying to come up with those heals, but Zippy has teleported um, it, uh, behind him and stopped those heals coming in. And now with the bottom, we got Afrod teleporting away as best as he can, but he's been followed by uh, by Auron with those as well. And so is also going to help in and take him down. So Magic has revived Liquid Solid Gas over here, but now Liquid Solid Gas is on such low health. Uh, Magic needs to come in and start helping him out. Uh, it has bought him enough time. Auron didn't seem to manage to capitalize on that. We've got Balaz on extremely low health of Solar. Does manage to take him out with that lightning. Alright, so on this time, uh, the, on this time, this side, we've got Auron finding out. But, um, Red Team have managed to get up. They're, uh, oh, they haven't. They've only got two people. I, I was looking at the wrong people on the map. And it seems the Red Team are going to go down here, unfortunately. But a revive has come in for Afra. He comes in with the Midsummer's Blessing, trying to keep them both alive as best as they can. But Mungle is right in the middle of it all, doing a lot of damage. Afra trying to get across. He is getting pushed about and does go down to Auron and Mungle. Um, Afra, I don't know what exactly he was aiming to do there by running over there. I thought he might have been going for revive, but he does not have enough magic. And it seems the Liquid Solid Gas is about to fall down to the joint effort of uh, pretty much everyone. Afra walking on Auron's head. Yeah, I kind of uh, looked over the last second. I didn't really see exactly what was going on. 
some impressive skills from Afrot being able to uh, to walk on the top there. So we've got um, just some crazy split between everyone and everyone's just coming into the middle and fighting it out. But it seems that um, whoever this is, we've got Afrot fighting it up here. A bit of a bad situation, but it seems that Auron has opted to actually go down here and start fighting um, with everyone else. So we've got a kind of like a three versus three and a one versus one. Uh, kind of situation, but now Bala's coming up to help out Afro, doing trying to do some damage to Zippy, but um, Auron being too aggressive and stopping Bala's from being able to uh, to be able to basically make a dent into uh, Zippy's life, and it does manage to heal back up. So now um, everyone seems to be kind of really coming in on this. We've got a big four versus four here. Um, I don't really, I can't really say much what's going on, but Conflag comes in from Magic, and he does manage to take out Zippy. Revive coming straight away in, so we still got this four versus four going on. Um, Mungle is in a bit of a bad situation, he's kind of stuck between the two, but Solar now comes in. He is going to start helping out. And uh, it's kind of difficult to really keep track of what is going on. Zippy with the teleport in, tries to get the knockdown on Balas, but fortunately he was warded. But a huge amount of damage comes in from um, those mines. And so now, everyone's kind of a bit all, all over the place, but it seems the red team are more out of position. Magic is stuck uh, away from his team, but um, it seems that Solar, Solar went the other way, could have capitalized on that a little bit more but red team has been completely forced back into this corner um it's not looking good for them to be fair if, a ma if someone used a tier 4 magic um it would do a lot for them but uh, i don't think you typically will see uh tier 4 magic coming in uh, that often in kind of high level uh, matches like this or customs like this but um Afrod has management uh, been taken down by uh by solar and so now it's currently a three versus four it's not looking good for red team they are kind of all over the place revive does come in uh, Magic and Afron are extremely low health, and um, Solar's trying to come in with the follow. Midsummer's Blessing does come in, but now if we look over here, we have got Liquid Solar Gas. He is all on his own, and it looks like he is going to go down to uh, to Zippy. So now again, it is a three versus four in um, Green Team's favor, and it's not particularly looking very good for Red. But the I'm not sure what Balor's trying to do there. Possibly went for a revive, uh, but it seems that he may have missed. And so now Red Team completely stuck in this corner, and Green Team. Are just hammering into them really. Uh, Afro on the string of low health does get taken down by uh, multiple rocks there it seems. And so now it is currently a two versus four. None of red team do have enough for a revive and uh, uh, Ballas is going to fall down. Now Magic is the final person left alive. Um, it looks like he has full cold on um, at this point but I don't think that's going to be enough to keep him alive. So I'm just going to wait for this and he does go down. I can't look at the things but that is a win for for green team congratulations to them have we got more people in here now we've uh oh no we have we have no more people in here now okay uh magic was uh laminator apparently and it seems that he has now disappeared All right, sorry, um, someone messaged me on my phone, and we are now down uh, a player, but we have got Chasm, um, who can fill in now. No three teams up. Yeah, it'd be kind of cool if we could have um, a three-played, uh, a three, a three. We could do a. We could try and do. Is that yeah? That is um, enough players. All right, so um, I I'm interested to see how a two versus two versus two could go, and I want to go on. I feel like Warfare would be a better map to do this on, if we're going to do a 2 versus 2, like um, a 2 uh, two player free for all thing, because the maps are much bigger, and these kind of get in the way, so I'm going to go on Warfare for this. Um, we'll go on this map. Okay. This is a 2 versus 2 versus 2. Do not capture the points. Like we, we do not want uh, any points to be captured. Um, I'm not 100 sure on the teams. How many people do we have? Yeah, that should be interesting. All right, so we've let's say we got Balas, 
And um, Bowser and Auron. And we'll have um, Afrot and Stola. Going in purple. We'll have Rez. Um, is Mungle the other Rez? Mickey put me and Auron on different team. I don't know exactly uh, how exactly we're going to do this. Uh, it seems that they want to have it as split, so one on each side. Um... Uh, as long as you both wear the same and it's not similar to others. Alright, and then... Oh, okay, uh, so we've got Zippy, Mega, and Cal. Um, I need one of them to kind of like say um, if they want to play or not. Chasm, do you want to? Alright, so the biggest map then. Misplaced. Alright, we're gonna have misplaced. Um, I'd say, um, who said? Mega said he'll spec. Alright, so if he's gonna do that, so zip me and Chasm wear the same robe. How much time after start before start? Go to the top. Go to. Go to each. Uh, um, let's see. Go to, go to each spawn point. Um, I can't even spell. Go to go near each spawn point. Don't, but don't cap. Then when it hits one minute, you start. Um. What if you TK? Actually, I tell you, uh, um, I'm just gonna do this alternating teams thing just to make it a little bit easier. The Balas, uh, Mongol, uh, Solar, Afrot, Chasm, Dibby. All right. The Zippian Chasm. Well, this is taking so much effort. Where, um, Rob. Ah, oh, Chasm doesn't even know what he's doing. Magics are fine. Auron and Bala go to top point. Um, Legion go to left. Rez go to right. Asm and Dippy go bottom. <sighs> Alright, so I apologize for this taking so long to sort out, but 
Ah, oh, come on. Just, they need to hurry up and sort out the same rope. Otherwise, I will just remove them. Come on, it's not difficult to, to do this, guys. It's, I mean, seriously. Everyone else, Mungle and, Ka uh, Mungle and Liquid are in the same ones. Everyone else is in the same. We just need Zippy and Chasm. I'm going to I'm going to kick Zippy if he's not going to sort this out. So Z Zippy do something like Chasm and Zippy just go in the default role. Seriously. Come on. It's not difficult to do this. All right, there we go. Now we can start. I'm sorry anyone else that didn't get to come in, but we'll have to see how this goes. So everyone should be in the things. Alright, I can't... Um, I know it's not res, but liquid and, and res are the ones that I mean. So everyone should go to their, th uh, their specific sides, and when it hits one minute they should start. I can't see the chat and I can't say anything to the chat members, so hopefully they uh, will sort that out. Um, it seems that everyone is moving around, hopefully they know exactly where to go. Alright, so at the top we've got lemons straight away over there. On the right side we have got um, the, the, the kind of res uh, people and we got legion on the top. Um, so when it hits one minute they should uh, start fighting. And we'll have to see how this goes. This should be interesting. I have played this before. Uh, we did like a Legion, D Ward, Lemons, and something else match, and it was really fun. Um, we'll have to see how this kind of turns out. So when it hits one minute, so we're 20 seconds away from the start. So just kind of quickly, um, I'll go through them. So Lemons at the top, we have got Balas and Auron in their beach roads. Um, right side, we've got Liquid Solar Gas and Mungle in the blue. Uh, down the bottom, we've got Zippy and Chasm in the red. And on the left side, we have got um, Afrod and Solar in the purple. So everyone should start now. All right, so everyone's gonna start going up. So let's uh, see how things go at the bottom. So we've got um, kind of like the we got purple and red coming down to fight here, and Zippy's up there on the uh, on the top. They're gonna start fighting out. Hopefully, people shouldn't capture the points. Um, it'll be like uh, so. I didn't particularly want to use this map. But it can be a bit difficult. So we've got them fighting in uh, separate one versus ones here. And uh, so we've got Afrot and Chasm fighting it out. We've got Solar and uh, Zippy kind of separated between the two. Uh, I'm going to move up to here. It seems like Chasm is going to drop down. Zippy and Chasm didn't really uh, work together very well there. So it seems that Red Team may be going out relatively quickly. Uh, Zippy with the teleport trying to get away. Um, I'm going to move over here and see how this is going out. So we've got the blue. Uh, blue against yellow. Uh, here so um, Liquid Solar Gas and Mungle fighting against Orn and Balas. So we've got Oren and uh, Mungle kind of in the front, we've got Balas and Liquid Solar Gas. So that's uh, what's back. So Zippy has been taken out, and so now Legion are about to come through this teleporter. Uh, this should be very interesting to see, as all of them would kind of be here. It seems that Legion are kind of holding back and waiting for the uh, the point where someone drops down, uh, and then they're going to swoop in and try and uh, finish off the kills. So we'll have to see how this goes. Oh, um, Legion have come straight in, so we've got every single member here. This is going to be very awkward to kind of... Uh, get the correct fight. People teleporting about, moving about everywhere. They want to kind of get to their uh, separated away from everyone else. So we've got Oren and Balas at the top. Uh, we kind of got Legion towards the kind of the bottom left side, and then we've got um, the uh, blue team. Uh, I called them Res, but I don't know. If, I don't think Mungle is Red. Um, I can't even see his name, Mungle. Uh, I don't think he is Red, but he's uh, there on this um, on this side. Uh, so it's kind of interesting to see how things go. So Lemons are obviously fighting straight down, um, but. The other two players are kind of a bit awkward. Afrot is on the point. Um, hopefully he gets off. Of, ah, 
really like you couldn't you couldn't just stay off the point. It's completely ruined. Zippy is gonna run away, so thank you uh, to Zippy. Who's, hopefully they they uh, deal with that a little bit better. But they should not have um, should not have done that. <laughs> uh, essentially, hopefully Zippy just yeah, it would be ideal if he uh, kind of just kills him. So Solar has captured that point. So thank you to Solar for for doing that. So. This is kind of obviously the problem where you have maps like this where they are going to get pushed on the point. Uh, hopefully people kind of avoid from doing that. So we've got the uh, lemons fighting from the top. We've got Bowser and Oren coming in and we've got um, kind of the team blue really in a bad position here as they are going to get sandwiched between the other two teams and it looks like Liquid Solid Gas is about to go down but Mungo comes in with the heals at the last second and now Legion the kind of they're kind of splitting up in the kind of the way this fight is going because Balas and Solar just keep seem to, to have a little fight here and is buying Mungle and Liquid Solid Gas uh, extra time. But now Orange coming in, he is going to try and take him out, but Mungle with the teleport out. Liquid Solid Gas is a bit out of position, but so is Mungle. He is stuck between the two le with the two Lemons players and it's not looking good for them, but Orange is going to opt to go around the side and allows Mungle to get back into the middle. Liquid Solid Gas has gone down, Mungle is looking like he is going to follow, so now we've got Lemons fighting against uh, Legion here. So we'll have to see which way this goes. Uh, it'd be better if they went fighting inside of this kind of uh, this. So free Zippy, Zippy, just uh, Zippy, kill yourself. It'll be the easiest way. Um, hopefully, Afrod gets off that point. Yeah, yeah, he's got off that point. So we got this little fight here. Solar seems to be kind of hanging back. Uh, Balas in the front now. Normally, you see Balas being the one uh, that is supporting, uh, but now Oran is on the point. Hopefully, he gets off the point. Oran, get off the point. Oh, come on. It's the one, the one rule that I said was to, to do this. Um, so now Chasm and uh, Thingy are back. Well, hopefully they just kill themselves. But this is the main fight that uh, going on down here. So we got Afron on extremely low health, but now Solar coming in with those hills, and he goes for the displays. Uh, so now they have bought themselves some time. Uh, so now these two, we've got to try and uh, fight, uh, go, try and go find them really, because uh, this game is still not over. Um, and we'll have to see which way. So if you look over here, I believe these two are the Legion members. So we have got the Legion members over here. And we've got the Lemons over here. So we'll have to see if they go get them. Uh, they, they don't seem to want to be going for them. Um, they seem to kind of uh, camping it out down here. They do know where everyone is because they can see each other uh, based on the, uh, the, the colored teams that they have. And so... I'm not 100% certain what exactly they're going to do. They're going to have to go fight at some point. So hopefully they go and do that. Don't just run away. Hopefully, like, they're going to get the fight here. Come on. Just go through the teleport. Alright, here we go. So we got Lemons and Legion fighting it out here in this uh, little 2 versus 2. It's in a very uh, inter interesting place to fight because they're both, they're all, ex like, they're right next to this teleporter pad so they can get out there if they need to do so. And he has been, Aphrod has been teleported out. Uh, he has got stuck on the teleport. Balz is kind of almost on there. They need to stop Solar from getting on that. Aphrod needs to hurry up and get here as soon as possible. But Solar has been taken out. And so now it's going to be Aphrod fighting against um, fighting against the Lemons. And they do know exactly where he is. Uh, so they can try and follow. But Aphrod's going to come through here. Does he have enough for a revive? He does have the revive. So he has got them. Uh, he has managed to get them back up straight away. And so now lemons are going to be coming through the teleporter here. Um, so we'll have to see how this goes. Everyone charging up their rocks, really. But everyone was in ED, uh, EDD, made sure that they weren't going to get hit by that. So we'll have to see how this goes. So a uh, bit of a bad position. He's kind of uh, on the other side for some reason. Uh, Storm's coming in from both sides, uh, trying to catch each other out. But Offra getting a lot of damage. I'm not exactly sure about whose rock that was that uh, did so much damage to him. But Afrod needs to get some heals. But Oren's being a bit aggressive. Uh, they're trying to keep Solar from uh, being able to spot him. But Alice doing a really good job. Using QQQ, but Baz now taking a huge amount of damage. And Oren does take out Afrod. He is going to try and heal up Baz, but Solar isn't managed uh, to stop this. And he is going to start uh, running away. But Oren straight away with that teleport onto the. And it seems like um, or it seems like uh, Solar is going to go down. So that is a win for the Lemons team. We could uh, potentially get this to restart, but I can't really. Um, I can't. I can't see the chat to uh, to know um, if they will uh, how they're going to do this. So we'll just have to um, we'll just have to see if you guys uh, are in the chat. See if you can get them to reset. Uh, Zippy, see if you can get everyone to to reset um, and go back, and we'll uh, we'll have another go at this. Okay, so they have captured a point for some reason. I don't know why they've captured a point. 
Hey Jix in the chat. Oh, we've also got um, Ballas here. So yeah, see if you can get everyone to kind of reset. Um, make sure all the all the points are null. Make sure everyone goes to their, their particular spots and you can start fighting it out and such. Uh, I apologize. I'm just answering my phone because my uh, my dad has messaged me. Um. Let's go. So sorry, I'm <laughs> getting a bit distracted. So it seems that everyone has gone to their respective uh, positions. So thank you, everyone, for your cooperation. Um, I believe. Tell, tell people they can start when it hits, um, I don't know, when it hits 9 minutes, I guess, will be the next next one. So when it hits 9 minutes, everyone can um, start fighting it out, let everyone know, uh, Balas or Zippy. Uh, I'm just going to reply to this quickly. Uh, so we've got like 10, 10 seconds. Uh, so it seems that we are going to get this, we're getting this kind of same fight this time, but um, the the blue team have actually opted to teleport straight down here, so we've got like a huge fight going on, Zippy, oh wow. Oh, Solar almost managed to get that displaced out, but it seems that Zippy and Solar have gone down, so now both purple and, uh, well, Legion and red team have actually lost players now. So it's not looking uh, particularly good. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why there's a dead body over here and then there's a, a dead body there, but um, yeah, we'll just have to see how this goes. It's a bit awkward to kind of follow how everyone is, um, has moved around the map. So this is the blue team here, and then we have the, the yellow team here, and then we've got the uh, Legion and red team kind of off somewhere else. Balaz is kind of on that point, hopefully he does get off. He does manage to do so. So Liquid's trying to pull back, but it seems that Auron and Balaz are doing a really good job of doing a lot of damage. Displace comes in, and they do manage to get out of there just in time. Okay, so we have got um, people back up. Solar has managed to get Afrod back up. Or oh, Afrod has managed to get Solar back up. I'm not exactly sure which way that goes around. Um, and it seems that Chasm is just kind of running around the map. He's going to have to try and buy himself some time. Uh, I'm surprised they managed to get um, a revive so quick. Chasm actually coming through here, that's uh, not very recommended as he is on extremely bad situation. He's going to get double teamed by whichever team comes to fight him. But it seems that Solar is going to go down and also um, we got Liquid Solar Gas going down as well. So even more people dropping, I'm not exactly sure. So it seems that Lemons are the only ones that have got two people still in this fight. And it seems that Chasm is going to go down, so that's red team are out of the match now. Uh, so that means we've got Mungul fighting against the Lemons, so blue team, uh, uh, blue team against yellow technically. And we'll have to see if he manages to survive this. He goes for the teleport. Um, not very good because you need to be able to get your revive and uh, get your team back up. I'm sorry, I'm going to move my mouse out of the way. And it's looking like Mungle is going to get taken out by the Lemon. So they have managed to uh, to win again. So um, if people want to try and get the reset. Oh, I know why Solar and Afro managed to get the revive. It's because that wasn't the first fight. That was... Um, uh, it was... What you call it? Because we reset, and they obviously still have their focus. So yeah, um, I guess we'll get to see everyone uh, go at it again. If everyone wants to try and reset, and we'll uh, we'll fight this again. Um, uh, it seems that everyone is kind of. A little bit going for it, so we need red team to uh, to capture this. So Mungle and Bala's doing just that. So hopefully they get off the point. There we go. Solar making sure that Mungle got off the point. Thank you very much. So everyone should now move to their positions. Um, if everyone can get there as soon as possible, I guess we can start when it hits 12:30. Uh, sorry for my. My silence, uh, just replying to people. So it seems that uh, there is some people, but Zippy and Chasm uh, are over here. I don't know what exactly they're doing, uh, but we are going to try and start at uh, 12 and a half minutes, and so we'll uh, get the fight. I, I don't think it matters that much that they are there, but they technically should be um, down here. 
but uh, we'll just have to see. So we got seven seconds until we're going to get this started. So normally we see the people at the bottom. So I'm going to kind of watch over here and see how the blue team uh, choose to move around this match. Uh, total loss in the uh, chat. Uh, hello. Um, uh, that is uh, Dick, uh, Dick Haas or something. I don't know how you say your name. Everyone should have fought, uh, start fighting because I did say 12 and a half minutes. Uh, okay, so now everyone is moving. And Liquid is left on his own. Mongol does not seem to want to come through. Why is Zippy up here and Chasm is not? I do not know. So it seems that Chasm is going to go down. As the red team have now lost um, a person straight away. I'm not 100% sure. Um, why exactly? Why They don't seem to have the same coordination that everyone else seems to, uh, to have. But Zippy has managed to run away. Um, unfortunately, um, they do know exactly where he runs to. So there is no hiding on this map. Uh, you've really just got to fight it out. And it seems that Legion are opting to go somewhere else. It seems that a Displace has been used. And they've managed to get Liquid Solid Gas and uh, Mungal out of his, uh, Chasm has uh, DC'd it seems. I'm not 100% sure why. That seems about right. Well that's good. Uh, I guess. <laughs> so we've got um, a fight going on here. Lemons are coming in from the top. They do manage to take out Solar. Liquid Solid Gas has now gone down. So we've got one player for, for Legion. One player for... For Mongol. One thing, oh wow, this place comes in, Revive comes in. Um, he has got the correct person up. But uh, what they could have done is they kind of could have joined together to try and take out these uh, the two lemons because they seem to kind of be dominated. But Afron is extremely far away from Solar as looking good. This place comes in from Balas, forcing him away. But it seems that, um, it seems that, wait, actually, I don't even know where Afron got put to. But now Mongol is coming here. Mongol um, is, of course, on his own because Liquid Solgas is. Uh, he is dead. Uh, this place comes there from Solar as Afro tries to commit. Uh, but now they're uh, even further away from each other. Uh, so we'll just have to, uh, to see how this goes. So we've got, uh, this got the two Lemons players down here. We've got one Legion and one uh, Blue team. Uh, we'll have to see how this goes. Uh, it seems that uh, the other... Uh, it seems that Zippy and Solar are fighting it up in the top right corner. We'll have a go look at that in a second once we see if how, how this kind of fight uh, turns out. But it seems that Mongol and Afro are kind of joining together. Well... It would have been nice to see if they joined together, but Afrod has been taken out now. Um, so I'm going to switch up here and see how this fight's going. So we've got Solar fighting against Zippy. Both of them are on extremely low health, actually. Um, so we'll have to see uh, how this goes around. Zippy pulling back. He's going to start healing up. Both of them, actually, kind of opting to, uh, to heal back up. Beam comes in from Solar, but um, very very badly done. Because I'm pretty sure that, that dome was like pretty much there the entire time. And it seems that uh, Lemons are now forcing um, Mungle up to this point, and he may, uh, he may teleport through. But Solar's on extremely low health. He gets hit by those uh, mines. He didn't even try and um, get rid of it. He's going to try and get Zippy away from him. And Zippy comes in with the teleport. Tries to get the knockdown. But Solar straight away with that ward. He is in the correct one. Zippy has got the EQ. Um, the ward on. He is going to stop him. And then it looks like he went for the, the knockdown. But uh, I'm not sure if that was uh, lag delay or whether uh, or what. Um, but it seems that Oren got forced through this teleporter. And he is going to try and... Uh, he has got through back here now. Uh, I'm going to follow them over here. And it seems that Mongol is about to go down. He's doing extremely well staying alive against these two uh, two Lemon players. But it looks like it is ultimately going to end in his demise. So we now have a Lemons fighting against Zippy. This is the uh, the final... Um, these are the kind of like the final ones. Because Zippy is the, uh, the only one left on his team. Uh, he can't even revive his Chasm. Because he is uh, obviously, you know, dead and uh, DC'd. Uh, Sword of Dodge pretty much stands for Fathead. <laughs> nice. Uh, what an interesting, uh, interesting name. So we got, um, I'm going to take a drink real quick. I'll try and move the mouse, um, move the screen so you guys can uh, follow along what's going on. But it seems like Zippy is going to go down. Oh, excuse me, it's been a while since I've had to talk like this. Um... I guess we can just end it. Uh, Bala, Bala, can you just, you know, okay, you can actually, you might as well just end it. Um, and we can reset and get another person in because there's not enough players. So just, uh, if people just want to leave, um, that would be more ideal. You nearly won because you practically um, stayed away the entire time. And then you had a, a little one versus one. <laughs> So yeah, at this point we're just getting everyone to DC. So I'm gonna do the uh, do the seven. So much points staying in here, and we'll have to see um, who's inside of the. Um... Oh wow, we have uh, we do have quite a few people in here. 
Uh, two versus two versus two. Yeah, it is really fun. Um, like I said, um, we did it before. It was me and Jix did it. I believe, um, Jix, you've got that on your channel, do you not? Um, I think you have those videos of when me and you did it. That was really fun. Um, so, I'm not sure what we're going to do now. Uh, I feel like we might just do an actual warfare match. Um, I'm going to just remove everyone from all of the teams. Uh, real quick. I'm going to put Mega on one team because he was... Um, let me I'm going to use... Um, do this. This is normal... Warfare. Mega and God are captains. Mega, pick one person. Yeah, that's also. I mean, feel free to link that if you want to. I don't. I don't mind. But all right, so Mega is going to go for Solar. Um, if I can see where he is. There he is. Um, Gaylord, pick two. Uh, so he's gone for Auron. Um, you can get the lemonade package. Yeah, you could go for both um, Auron and Balas if you want to. But Balas hates me. <laughs> and I hate him. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, if you don't want him for that reason, that's fine. Alright, well. He has to pick one, so... Let's see who he, uh, he ends up going for. Alright, so he's going for Afrot. Uh, where is Afrot? There we go. Uh, Mega pick two. Let's see who he wants to go for. Can you spec? We'll have to see at the end. Um, uh, for those who can't be in the match. I am streaming from twitch.tv slash super um, I may have spelled twitch wrong but you get the idea. Anyway, um, Mega should be picking someone. Mega choose two. He's gone for Zippy and Liquid. Okay. Liquid and Zippy. And then the last one. Oh, is you, Mickey? Yes, it's it's me. I know your. St you know my steams. I think you mean you you know my streams. In which case, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. I um I really enjoy doing this, and that's why I um. <laughs> no, no, okay, let's come for balance. Okay, so I'm surprised I uh, got picked before. Alright, um, I'm going to be nice. Uh, I'm going to put him on here because he did ask uh, for this. So I'm just going to jump straight in. And uh, let's see how this goes. Um, normal warfare. This is just casual... So yeah, this is just normal warfare. This is one of the two versus two versus two versus twos with Mickey and myself that Mickey just talked about. Blah blah blah. Feel free to check out the others we did. I won't post them here though. Yeah, they were a lot of fun. Um, uh, it was really, 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 really good times. Really good times. All right, so we've got a bunch of different people on each time. Um, uh, we on the green team. Uh, they seem to have uh, done a very weird split for the green side. Red team doing the completely standard split that you expect to see in, um, on this kind of map. And I'm not really sure about what exactly is going to happen here. So we've got um, a fight going on in the middle. Currently red team are obviously are in the lead because they have managed to get that double cap uh, right from the start. So they have got the 3 to 1. Seems that someone's opting to go through this way. Look at Solar Gas is going to end up meeting someone down there at the bottom once he teleports through. Uh, so we'll have to... Uh, catch up with that in a little bit and see how this goes. But it seems that Sol has been extremely aggressive trying to take out Afrot. But Galad's now coming in. He is going to start helping him out. But Sol is on extremely low health. Afrot coming in with the beam as well. Are they going to take him out? But Medic turns around, just tries to get the heals. Has been frozen. Oh, <laughs> Afrot tried to get the pistol shot, but it didn't quite work out. It seems that at the bottom here, Balas did get taken out by the Liquid 
Solid Gas perhaps, I'm not 100% don't quote me on that, but it seems that Liquid Solid Gas has managed to capture that point down in the bottom corner. Also make sure to check out Mickey's YouTube channel, thank you Jix, being the wonderful moderator that you are. So, uh, we have got Ballas, no Ballas, we've got Afro running up here, he's going to try and get the back cap on the green side, we've got fi um, a lot of people fighting here, Solar is looking like he is going to go down here. Uh, but he has managed to run away. Uh, Auron with the follow tries to take him out with the shard lightning combo, but it doesn't seem to uh, to work out for him. We've got Gallows and Zippy fighting it out here, both in their founders robes. Which founder is going to win? We've got Afrock coming in with the heals. Gallows almost getting frozen. Zippy on the extreme of the health, and he does go down. So now uh, we have got. Um, it is currently back into the red team's favor. Solar is going to try and stay alive as best as he can. He's going to try and get some dupes here if he can, but he does go through with Afrock. Auron with the follow. Um, Orange just seems to be going down to the bottom right corner. It seems that Solar is going to get taken out here, so I'm going to just... Um, actually, I'm going to wait uh, just to see if he does manage to take him out of Afrod, and he does go down, so uh, well done to Afrod taking out your team member, you horrible, horrible person. Uh, nah, I kid. Um, it's it's fine. So, um, let's see how this goes. So, we got all of um, every everyone down here, uh, essentially. It looks like uh, Green Team are going to get there. Other Revive, and it seems like Liquid Solid Gas maybe is going to... Yep, there we go. He's going to go for the Displace. Um, that wasn't the best of displays, but it got him out of there um, unnoticed by everyone else. And so he is going to start getting another capture as Red Team are taking over this point. Uh, so, uh, Green Team are looking a bit on the back foot here. They've uh, lost uh, multiple team members. Uh, but they have got that extra point thanks to Liquid Solar Gas getting out of there. And it looks like Solar is going to go down to the joint effort of Galod and uh, Balas. He has been frozen. He's hanging in there as best as he can, but he does end up going down. So now we're going to move over here to the center of the map as we got Liquid Solid Gas and Mega fighting against Afros. Uh, it looks like Liquid Solid Gas is going to be definitely going for those uh, the barrels there. Tries to get the knockdown on Afros, but he was correctly warded, and uh, Liquid Solid Gas has um, has suffered the consequences for making that misplay. Uh, someone did displace out. I wasn't 100% sure what exactly happened there, but Green Team need to capture this point. And it's looking like it's not really going to go very well for them as uh, the rest of Red Team are now on here. And uh, there's basically no chance of them being able to capture this. Uh, Solar has been taken down. Uh, Zippy teleporting across here is the final person uh, left alive for his team. And uh, teleport coming in from Afrod. Tries to get the knockdown. Unfortunately, Zippy does manage to ward that just in time. Uh, stuck inside of that lightning storm. And it looks like he is going to get taken out. So that is a win for the Red side. Congratulations to them. Only Ballas died twice. Um, unfortunately, uh... Bad, uh, bad luck there, Ballas, but uh, well done to uh, the entirety of the uh, red team. Um, so, uh, let's uh, quickly get rid of everyone. This is why I never captain. <laughs> ah, it's fine. Um, I'm going to put Chasm and Mungle as the uh, the captains because they didn't get to fight this time. Chasm, um, pick one person. That's why lemons come in packages, apparently. Imp kill, yeah. Was there an imp kill? I didn't uh, quite notice. Um, if there was, he is Team Master. Who is Team Master? Um, I don't, I don't know what's going on, but uh, it seems that Chasm has gone for Auron. Where's Auron? And then Mongol pick two. But yeah, I'm not. I'm not exactly sure who he um it makes. I know who Team Master is. Like I've um I've met him. Sola and Auron. Auron has been picked. Oh wait, that's uh, Liquid. Its name is Team Master. I yeah okay okay. Um. Okay, so Ballads has been selected by Mungo, so now Auron and uh, and Ballads are being separated out. Alright, Chasm, you now pick two. Mickey, he said Zoro has a smurf account, he, his name is Team Master. I don't know, I... Um, I don't know, it could be for all I know, but... Uh, uh, we'll see. I've... Uh, I beat... I, I beat Zoro, no problem. Um... And then Team Master puts up a much better, uh, much more of a fight. Can I, cannot I pick you? 
If you mean me, then no, I'm not playing. I'm I'm only streaming, and casting, and uh, hosting, and all those magical, magical things. So, uh, Kazam, just pick two people, please. Thank you. Um, he's gone for Afrot and Liquid. Um, Liquid. Afrot, and now um, uh, Mongol gets to pick one, and he's gone for Mega. So he, he jumps through in the uh, with that. So we have um, Zippy and Galord. Um, one of them, one of them spec. I don't know which one. I'm gonna put that on random. Um, I'm gonna put Galod on spectator just because I know that Zippy is um, in the chat, or at least he uh, he was watching the stream, so he can watch from there. So we've got this uh, fight. Uh, sorry, I was just uh, looking at uh, something. I apologize. So on the uh, left hand side, we've got the green team consisting of Liquid Solar Gas, Auron, Afrod, and Chasm. On the red side, we have got Mega Solar Ballas and Mungle. Yeah, I gave you, I gave him spec because you are actually uh, in the, in the, um, in the stream. So we got this two versus uh, two versus two. We got this two two split, um, which is pretty, uh, pretty standard uh, at this point. Uh, so we've got a fight here. We've got Liquid Gas and Chasm fight now in the middle against Solar. Um, everyone else is kind of uh, all over the place. Not really uh, any fights going on. But Liquid Solar Gas is pushing straight to this point. Making sure that he's going to start capping it. But Chasm doesn't seem to want to be getting onto the point. He really needs to uh, to actually do that. Um, and Liquid Solar Gas just opts to push both of them away so he can start capturing this point. Uh, so we'll have to see how this goes. Solar has managed to be frozen by Chasm and uh, Liquid Solar Gas. He doesn't do much to take him out, so well done to them. We have got Afron and Baz fighting it up here, and now we've um, got Liquid Solar Gas coming in to kind of support as he um, runs past and provides some supporting fire, but now Baz is trying to capture this point. He just managed to get the water push on um, Afron before he can get the water on, and so we'll have to see how this kind of... Uh, how this turns out, it seems the green team are currently in the lead. They have got the uh, spawn point advantage, but red team are currently with the back capture. And we'll have to kind of see how this... Uh, goes out. We've got Liquid Solar Gas on extremely low health, just running across the map. Uh, he is going to start healing up now, um, as we are near Afrod and Balas fighting it out over here. But now the heal's coming in from Liquid Solar Gas. But Z uh, sorry, Solar comes in and just takes out Liquid Solar Gas. He didn't get the heals on, and Solar's trying his best to heal up. Balas. Great use of um, those uh, heal rocks, knowing that that uh, the dome was open. He couldn't get the heal beam in there. Uh, it seems that Red Team have kind of turned this around a little bit, but it's looking a bit even at the moment. But Solar and uh, Balas do manage to take down um, Afrod. So, I don't know if I said the correct name there. Um, Oren has managed to take over this point here. Uh, so green team are going to kind of uh, get back in this. And here we've got Afrod and Chasm uh, fighting against Mungle. But Afrod has opted to move away, leaving Chasm to fight against Mungle, taking a lot of damage from those mines. And we'll have to see if um, Chasm can manage to take him out here, or if Mungle uh, is going to win. Uh, does get the water push, uh, buys him a little bit of time, but now Chasm coming straight back in. Puts down the mines, unfortunately. Uh, Mungle was warded those mines. And uh, Mungle's doing a great job of just holding Chasm back. He does manage to push him off the point, so he is going to start getting this. Making great use of those EQR walls uh, to push back Chasm because he was inside the ward. Balor's now coming in to start uh, supporting, and they are going to make sure that they do capture this point. Uh, Chasm is going to start running away, gets hit by that cold rock. Great use, uh, great uh, choice there by Chasm. Uh, not by Chasm, by, uh, by Mungle, uh, making him slow down. It seems that Solar is going to possibly go down here. Um, tries to come in. <laughs> Afrod tries to go in with the pistol shot, but unfortunately, it uh, wasn't in time. But he does take him down with that lightning. Um, so it's definitely looking like Green Team are in a bit of a bad situation. Um, Chasm now comes on, but Afrod as well. They are going to start capturing this point. Uh, so Mungle basically uh, isn't going to be able to hold this against back. Uh, hold this uh, back, and he is looking like he is going to fall down. He goes for the revive. Not 100% sure if he necessarily wanted to do that, obviously he wanted to get the heals, but he really shouldn't have used revive, um, but, like a displace or a midsummer's blessing would have been much better. So Solar has managed to capture this point, he's now going to come down here, but he is going to get met by multiple people, uh, as green team have uh, basically fully respawned here, and we've got Afrod fighting against Solar yet again. I feel like we've seen this fight quite a few times, so I'm going to go down here and see how this 3 versus 3 is going. Uh, pinging on the map by green team, making sure that they know where to go, uh, so they are going to start getting this back capture, they are currently down a point. Uh, Mungle is opting to run away, he's going to try and get the back capture on them himself. Uh, so we've got Auron and 
against uh, Orin and Chasm, sorry, fighting against uh, Balas and Mega here. We'll have to see how this goes. Orin getting hit by getting caught in that storm, taking huge amounts of damage from that steam. Uh, but now Liquid Solid Gas coming in, just water pushing through, just forcing everyone off this point of the Argus that capturing it. And uh, the other person, I can't remember who else was on that team with him, Chasm, has opted to run away uh, somewhere else to start capturing. So we've pretty much just swapped up this two best two, and Mega is going to go down. Uh, apparently Balas team killed him, but that was clearly not, um, that was clearly by accident. And so now, uh, everyone else has left him, so we've got Balas fighting against Oran, but Balas on extremely low health, and Oran's putting on that EQQ ward so he can uh, be extremely aggressive and push forward. Balas cannot really push him back. Uh, we'll have to see how this kind of turns out. I'm pretty certain I keep moving my mouse away from that corner, and then somehow he just always ends up back there in the middle of the screen. <laughs> I'm, I don't know if that's me or what. Um, or I'm trying to use the melee swing, but unfortunately, Balas was in that EDD. I think he kind of predicted them to, uh, to opt to switch out of it. Baz on extremely low health. Uh, Oren tries to come in with that uh, steam spray, but Baz straight away with that, um, that dome was really well done by him. But now the lightning comes in. Oren knows that if he chooses to use anything else, he will detonate those healing mines. And he tries to go for the melee swings, but Balas just runs away. Um, he's not really getting the heals on. Lightning comes in, he does take him out with that shard lightning combo. And it seems the green team are managed to take us over. We've got Solar um, and Af uh, Solar stuck in the corner between Aphron and Chasm. Uh, Solar does not have the um, the displays that he loves to use so much and he does get taken out by a pistol. Now we've got Mungle all on his lonesome uh, fighting against the uh, the rest of the uh, rest of this team and now all three of them are kind of caught up here. Um, I'm not even sure what exactly went on there. I seen that Afro tried to haste on and then he got moved by, uh, by accident. Teleport comes in from Mungle getting out of that storm prison and it looks like Afro's just waiting for the moment he can try and shoot him with this pistol. We'll have to see if it, uh, it pays off I'm thinking that it's uh, possibly mine. Uh, might not. He's looking like he is going to try and stay in EDD. This place comes in from um, from Liquid Solid Gas. But Mungle's actually hanging in there even further. He's going to get the water pushed back. But, uh, he is currently on fire. Gets the revive on Solar. And uh, unfortunately, it wasn't in time. And you get the standard uh, bug thing where it, uh, it ends because the revive wasn't uh, quite in time. So, uh, well done to... Whichever team won, <laughs> I forgot which team won. Um, I, I, I can't remember which one it was. Uh, excuse me, I'm just moving my screen uh, slightly so I can see a little bit better. All right, so it seems that we don't have any uh, really new people in here. So I'm just gonna have to do some random selection stuff. Nothing better than watching Mickey Caston with us while doing maths. Oh. Math such for no for me, cause lag. So see, ya. all right. Thank you, Mega, for joining us. Uh, now it seems that we have, um, uh, we should have eight people, I believe. So this should be fine. Who do we want? Uh, we haven't have anyone. We haven't had Liquid as a captain, and we haven't had. I believe we've had Sword as a captain. What about Zippy? I feel like we might not have had Zippy as a captain. Uh, Zippy, pick one. Actually, we're gonna do team deathmatch. So liquid. Me. I'll have to see who he opts to go for. Um, Solar wants to do Soul Harvest. All right, so Zippy's gone for Solar, and so now Liquid. Liquid, pick two. We can do Soul Harvest after this if people really want to. So much math, so little skill. Can you even concentrate while watching Jigs? Afro 2 minus 2 because Afro needs no skill. Apparently. Jigs is like a boss at math, so of course he can uh, concentrate on this while doing um, doing that. So, um, Liquid has gone for Afro and Auron. And now Zippy gets to pick 2. Wow, a new study math. Yes, he does a math degree. I believe. Balas and Mungle. So, yep, definitely uh, separating these uh, the lemons up. Um. Wait, I could have sworn we had enough people. Because Mega left. And I thought we only had one person. Oh, no, we had two people that were specking. Uh, okay, so. Um, um, wait, did I just put that on the right. Yeah, I put it on the right team. Everyone is shouting for Soul Harvest. You know what? All right, fine. Let's do it. I'm doing it. So we got liquid. All right. Let me just let me just do this. Liquid. Um, liquid. Pick your final person. 
and then we can put Soul Harvest on. People saying stuff in the chat. Okay, he's gone for. Uh, we got a lot. So now we can change it to Soul Harvest. So we've got Liquid, Afrot, Auron, and Galord, Zippy, Solar, Bala, and Mungle, and then me and Chasm. Um. All right, we're doing Soul Harvest apparently because everyone uh, wanted it. So you never really see this map, um, or you never really see this game mode, uh, I should say. But uh, I know. Um, I know a decent amount about this to be able to uh, to say stuff about this. I really, uh, I think. So we'll have to see how this uh, how this turns out. <laughs> so for anyone who um, doesn't know what Soul Harvest is, uh, essentially um, you both have these uh, towers on your side, um, and you collect souls, which uh, increases this meter. As you hit each milestone, it removes these effigy uh, things um, on them. Yeah, stuff. Uh, let me just uh, like uh, basically these things fire at you if you come in, and as you collect souls, uh, these will uh, disappear. And you also have a shield which uh, drops down after a certain number has been collected. So they're going to go around and start capturing um, souls by killing all of these mobs. So you're not going to see that many fights um, between people. So we got Balas. Uh, fighting with this um, uh, fire warrior thing, I can't remember what it's called, and once he does this, he can now capture this teleporter, so now his team can now teleport across the map. So looking down here, we've got um, we got Mongol trying to take out these cannon uh, go cannon guns, and now Liquid Solid Gas is going to come in. Does manage to steal two of those um, two of those souls from him, actually. But now Bala's coming in. Um, so the way, that obviously, there is a way to kind of optimize uh, playing this um, map. Uh, if you were playing this uh, as kind of like a tournament uh, and you like to, to win properly, the best way to do it is kind of get two people dedicated to collecting souls and two people to kind of run interference between the two. So we'll have to kind of see how this goes, but it seems that Mongol has been taken out by Liquid Soul Gas. And so now they're going to be running around trying to collect more souls. So if we have a look up here, um, we have got uh, Solar and Galard fighting it out here. Um, looking at the number of souls that each team, Green Team have got 47. Uh, red team have got 36. Um, I believe when they hit 50 is when the shield drops on the opponent's tower. So we'll have to make sure we check that. So um, red shield has been destroyed. So now if we go over here, you can see that there is no longer a, a glow about. So now they can now damage this effigy. And when the um, da damage the effigy, damage this tower. It might be called the effigy. I don't know. But when it when it gets uh, when it gets destroyed, that is when the team wins or loses. So we've got a big uh, fight here between. Uh, we got Oran, um, Solar, and Mungle. Oran taking a lot of damage. Um, which is a bit unfortunate, but now Gallard's coming in, tries to get the heals, but unfortunately he was not there uh, fast enough, and now Mungul is going to heal up Solar. So now we've got the troll up, so now I'm going to have a look at this troll. It's called an Orc. I don't know if it, like, there's a, I'm sure there's a specific name um, on it uh, to do stuff. So basically this troll uh, does lightning and physical damage, and you get uh, 20 souls from it. So you get a lot of souls, and so people are going to want to try and come here, so... Um, this is where you get some interesting things because they want to try and take out the troll. Oh, big hit on Auron there. Um, not looking good for him. He does manage to get on the other side of this troll, but it is completely aggroed on him. I believe you can actually teleport through there. I, I, I think you might be able to make that jump. Um, but it seems the red team are going to possibly be able to get the kill here. Um, they are managing to do a lot of damage with their beams here. Zippy running right underneath, and he does take him down. So now they're going to take a lot of these souls. Red team have actually now managed to take the lead um, in doing this. So... Uh, here we've got this. I believe is the um, the Orc Warden. Um, this is quite hard to take down. He's actually. I feel he's harder to take down than the troll, uh, to be honest. But Zippy does have um, plus Earth, and uh, yeah, I don't know. But uh, he is looking like he's going to take him down. So uh, good job on him, and that means that he gets some extra things, and he also captures this, and he will get some imps. Yeah, you get these. Uh, gladiator imps, which are uh, rather useful. Um, they can uh, deal damage, and obviously, here we've got Afro trying to take down this goblin shaman. Uh, the shaman, obviously, uh, is also going to get uh, a bunch of stuff, and he's not doing a particularly great job uh, of taking this down. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see if he is going to get taken out. Oh, he's so close. Almost gets taken out by that shaman. So, uh, going to kind of look around the map to, uh, to other places to see what's kind of going on. Um, 
I'm not really sure. It's kind of awkward. Everyone's running about everywhere. Can't really find a particularly good spot to find. So we've got um, Zippy uh, taking out things. So green sentry. Uh, red team have managed to capture uh, 100 souls. So now one of these uh, sentry turrets has been uh, has gone. So now they can start really gaining in here and start dealing damage to this if they want to. It seems that red team have actually lost some health on this. So someone's actually gone in and actually tried to take it out. Yeah, the uh, the gladiator imps, the, the, they they have some use and which they can be useful in taking down, um, but basically as a as a distraction more than anything else. Uh, so, Balas uh, making sure he gets all the things, almost gets frozen by effort. Now this kind of near is coming in, but it's actually aggroed on um, Balas unfortunately. Uh, teleports coming in, Aphrod does manage to teleport through, and he does take down uh, Balas. So here we've got uh, Zippy just surviving that there. Now I believe these uh, goblins actually do a slight bit of um, magic damage. So even if you wear EDD you will take uh, some hits from the enemy. And they have managed to do some damage to the... Uh, well, team to my <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh man I need to get a drink in a second. But um... Both team have managed to do some damage to the uh, teams. Now, Liquid Solid Gas can uh, you can pull backwards and get into into this thing. Basically, if they come inside of this ring, they will start being attacked by the uh, the sentries. And so now they're trying to do the double uh, double beam thing, but it's uh, there we go. So now they if you do that double beam, you can reach further and actually start dealing damage while staying outside of this area. But it seems their green team don't really want them to, to be able to do that, and so uh, they're trying to uh, make the most and stop this. So you're just going to teleport inside of here. Blocking those uh, the beams from coming. Great job by him, and now he's going to try and heal back up. And they're going to try and do the uh, the double beams yet again. The troll is actually up. Someone could easily go take that and get a, an advantage over the other side. Uh, magic has come in, um, and Balas uh, running in there trying to do a lot of damage. Actually, it's aggroed on Zippy at the moment. So Balas is doing a huge amount of damage. He is going to start getting hit by all of those um, the towers, and it seems that like he is going to go down now. So he's done um, a decent chunk. Uh, Mungle has managed to, to kill uh, the troll apparently, um, and they did manage to collect that. So now Green Team have got so many um, souls compared to uh, Red. They have managed to take down their other towers. So Green Team really need to start focusing uh, down on this one because um, they can survive quite a long time in here now that this uh, Sentry turret has been uh, is the uh, the only one left um, left standing. Right, so we'll have to see how this uh, how this kind of uh, goes about. But we've got. Uh, Auron now here, he is going to start coming in. Um, he is going to go for the Tactical Dragon Strike, which does do a decent amount of damage, but the uh, the amount of damage used to be uh, bigger. The, the devs, uh, the developers of the game did um, actually reduce the amount of damage that uh, the tower takes uh, from that, because it was uh, it was pretty broken, uh, to be honest. And Auron taking a huge amount of damage from Zippy uh, and those imps there, and it's looking like he may end up going down here. He tries to get the push, but Zippy with his lag managing to get that ward on. Um, and uh, stop that. So we got here. We got Balas yet again running in. He really should run in and try and put a storm down under. Actually, going for the Midsummer's blessing. That is um, that is a great strategy um, that he can actually do that. Places the steam storm underneath it, trying to get as much damage as possible. We got a green team in here trying to uh, trying to help out. Balas doing a lot of damage. It seems the uh, red team are actually gonna um, possibly be able to do this. They have lost their second tower, uh, so they are uh, taking obviously reduced damage. But Balas has been taken out now. Um, and Sol is taking damage from those towers as well as both Galod and Auron. Tries to go for what looked like a tactical dragon strike, uh, but unfortunately didn't get it off in time. It seemed like Red Team are definitely, uh, well especially Balas, is really getting the push onto this tower and it's allowing them to, to gain a, a huge advantage. Uh, Red Team, uh, sorry, Green Team really need to uh, start dealing some uh, damage to this. They want to take this teleporter to get over here and then quickly get over um, into here as fast as possible and start dealing some damage. Yeah, definitely. Um, Balish definitely should have placed the storm sooner um, underneath it and start beaming um, and such. The troll has come up. Um, the troll at this point in the game isn't as necessary because they should be fighting against the. Uh, they should just be uh, running straight into the um, into the tower at this point. Uh, here, you should generally have two people defending your tower and then have the other two people uh, attacking it. Or um, in red, te red teams, uh, sorry, in green teams' case, they definitely should have more people back because they are on such low uh, health. But green team definitely need to start um, attacking them now. But Afro doing a great job um, of keeping that alive. It seems that red team, uh, green team, sorry, uh, they are going to hit um, 200 uh, relatively soon, uh, especially if they manage to take out this uh, this troll. But the orc warden has managed to kill Auron apparently. 
Uh, which, uh, not very good for him. I don't even know why it's possible in the first place. No, no, uh, they never fixed the pushing of the sentries. It's still, it takes like a very long time, but you can still push it off. So Mongol has captured it, which means that they are possibly going to reach 200. Okay, so green team have managed to reach it, uh, reach 200. Uh, but Balas is running straight in here. Re uh, green team really need to just run in there. We've got someone over here. There we go. We got um, we got liquid gas. He could take that out. Uh, but it seems that Balas has respawned now. Um, red team still don't have enough to uh, souls to stop that final tower. Um, so they're going to be able to start defending that, and green team really need to just uh, start pressure on this. They should have probably uh, two people back and two people attack so that they can make the most of this. But it seems that Balas is definitely one of just going to push straight forward uh, into this here. Uh, we have got one uh, person. Uh, we got Auron running straight in and all of red team are converging on this point. So if the... F oh, okay, a technical dragon strike is going to come in and I feel like this is going to be the end of it. Uh, I don't think they can... Uh, I don't think uh, green team are going to be able to hold this out. Another a fire tornado comes in from Solar, but unfortunately it's too random to be able to keep it off. He is going to get the Steam Storm underneath it and it's extremely close. But we've got Munkle here as well and uh, I think this is going to go down and yeah, they have managed to take it out. So congratulations to the um, to the red team uh, for managing to do that. They definitely had um, a better better strategy there. Like Balas started coming in extremely early and started doing that damage and it really made a difference because the red team, uh, so green team only managed to take down it by a half. You just push that pull it with a wall. Uh, works kind of like pushing players with walls. Yeah, but it's really awkward and finicky to do because sometimes you can end up pushing the wall backwards rather than forwards. Uh, so that was uh, that was interesting. So it seems that Mongol uh, is going liquid solid gas. Uh, also going. Um, not sure how many people are staying. We'll have to kind of uh, look into the um, once people have kind of. Uh, once people leave and search. And people are saying bear back. How many ticks does DDS do? I don't know. I could not tell you. So we don't have that many people. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people in total, but I am streaming, so uh, I won't be playing it because um my Yeah, it just it's I, I can't play. Uh, just because it's um, like it's too framey for me to be able to play properly. All right, see you later, Afrot for for coming. If you like the stream, make sure you to <laughs> click that follow button. I don't think I've ever said to anyone to click the follow button, just because I don't really. I mean, if if you want to um, if you want to see when I'm streaming, then go for it. But I'm not going to be like the one telling you to try and uh, try and do it. I mean, it's your benefit, not mine. I just do this because I enjoy doing it. I'm gonna go find alcohol. That is a uh, that is a nice choice. Uh, that's a good thing that you. Uh, most likely, but you to focus what you could use to get back. Uh, yeah, which is up. I think Mongol might be leaving as well, actually. Uh, which wouldn't be a bad thing. Um, <laughs> Zippy's trying to add me back to his uh, friends list. Uh, I'm not not sure about that, Zippy. Not uh, not really sure about that. I guess we got someone else, Lucas, apparently joined. I find myself saving focus for the effigy. It really depends on the role that you kind of take up, whether you want to be collecting souls or when you want to be um, interfering stuff. But haste is definitely something that you want to be using in this. Um, I'm t I'm not your tier two uh, can can vary. Um, but definitely, magic seemed to be the, the way to go um, on attacking the, uh, the the tower. But honestly, I prefer to use displace um, and getting around the map faster and getting people away from it. Uh, Warfare team, yeah, we're not doing that. This again, there's not enough players for um, for any more of that. So we got one, two, three, four, five, seven. We have seven people. Did you ever try one versus one soul harvest? That's not really uh, not very good, to be honest. It can be an It takes forever. Um. So. Uh, I'm not sure about teams. Do 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 do. Auron. 
and and not solar. Bala's trying to get in with that uh, lemons pair. Wait, why am I picking? Because you are the. Uh... <laughs> I pick Bala. You can't. You have to wait for Solar. Oh, we got um, we got Rick as well. Uh, so we got Rick and Frontliner in here now. I don't know if they're actually gonna uh, play. We got even another person. We got so many people. I'll be nice and take Rick. <laughs> okay, so we got the we got some um, American action on that side. So now Aaron gets picked too. He can go for Balas if he wants to. So he's gone for Bala, which is pretty standard. <laughs> Um, waiting for Aaron to pick his Nifla. No one happy to see me except Frundy. <laughs> um, come on, Aaron, pick your person, please. Come on, Aaron. Oh, okay, he said front. Uh, too many people saying stuff in the chat. Can't read what it's saying. Alright, solo picks two. Um, Zippy and Gallard. Um, and it seems that Chasm is the last person alive, so he gets to be on this team. Alright. Actually, we, we, we had the other one a bunch of times. So, I'm gonna just... Um, do, 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 do. Alright, let's go. I'm just gonna jump straight in. Alright, so, um, on the green side we have got Chasm, Oran, Balas, and Frontliner. On the red side we have got Rick, Zippy, Gallard, and Solar. So, uh, everyone just uh, rushing straight into the middle, fighting it out. Um, you're not typically going to see people using the teleporters on this map um, in these initial fights. Uh, just because, yeah, they don't want to give uh, one team the advantage of the other and letting them possibly get a kill. And so we got Oran right in the front. Uh, being extremely aggressive as always, and we got Balas, and we got well, pretty much all of the other team. I uh, find out Rick James taking a huge amount of damage. Uh, Frontliner with the teleport, he's gonna follow uh, Rick James, try and take him out with Zippy with the uh, with the follow. He does manage to keep him alive. Balas, I, I noticed, was on extremely low health, but he has managed to uh, keep alive. Chasm, extremely low health as well, but heals come in from all the teammates. And now, pretty much, we've just swapped sides at this point. Uh, we just got red and uh, green uh, going on to uh, different sides of the map, or different sides of the bridge. So we've got Galo teleporting in by the looks of it there. Um, Chasm is actually on extremely low health. Uh, we've got Balas coming in from the back. Uh, he has taken the attention of both Zippy and Rick. So green team really need to use this time uh, this to their advantage. In fact, we have got three against two over here. But Zippy seems to be kind of uh, holding between the two. He's going to provide support on both sides. And so we'll have to uh, see how this goes. Um, two people are actually teleport there. I didn't know if he actually got into the teleport in time. Balas almost getting taken out, but Chasm now coming in to provide support, uh, buying Balas some time. And Rich M's not really looking uh, particularly good at the moment. He goes for the teleport, but Balas is going to go with the follow. Tries to go through, but the um, Rich James gets off just in the moment, uh, just in the uh, nick of time. Uh, Frontliner unfortunately does get taken out by Rich James. Uh, it is currently um, oh Balas has also dropped as well, so it's currently a three versus four in uh, Red Team's favor. I still have to see how this goes. Uh, Oren and Chasm trying their best to stay alive, but it looks like they are going to go down. Um, and yep, yeah, there it is. Uh, 
So well done to uh, to red team taking the uh, victory. So we have got actually I've just noticed we've got three uh, red founders on that side. Um, unfortunately, Rick James is not in uh, inside of his founders robes as well. So we've got this uh, pretty standard uh, point. It seems that uh, Auron, um he was possibly thinking about going through that teleporter. He has uh, decided not to though. And so we'll have to uh, to see how this uh, how this turns out. Red team uh, quite more displaced actually. Aura goes through the teleporter. He finally decides to go through, and he's fighting it with uh, with Zippy. Um, and we'll have to see how this goes. Rick James teleporting out. His green team have uh, advanced forwards. He is healing up uh, Zippy, and Auron is trying his best to take him out. But it looks like it isn't. Oh, he almost gets uh, hit by those mines. Uh, but Auron's in a bit of a bad situation as Zippy is constantly getting these heals from Rick James, and Auron is going to have to uh, move away. But Zippy with the teleport tries to follow, but Auron gets heals up from all his teams, and then they just get pushed straight against that wall. Auron is in a very bad situation. Bow's coming in. Uh, he is going to start healing him up and keep him alive. Uh, but now green team are a bit uh, a bit separated. We've got Chasm and Frontliner up here at the top. Bow is extremely low health. Uh, Zippy with the teleport, uh, but Bow uh, again with the teleport. He has followed him into that corner. Um, Frontliner with those heals, keeping him alive. But it seems that Auron has managed to be taken out by the joint effort of, uh, wow, um, pretty much uh, everyone almost. <laughs> Uh, so it seems that Calum is going to go. Uh, Calum, Calum is going to go down to Rick James with a teleport and melee combo. And so now, who's that teleporter? Frontliner is going to go down to uh, to Zippy. Um, I feel like, oh no, um, great dupes there by uh, by Ballas. He has got enough for a revive, and he needs to choose this carefully. Um, Calum and Oron have enough to uh, to revive. And so we'll have to see uh, who he opts to go for. They're all in a bit of a bad situation, so we can't really help them all out. It seems like Frontliner is about to get enough for a revive, so it doesn't matter which one the Ballas opts to go for. He is going to go through the teleporter. Um, is he going to go for the revive? He, it looks like he is. There we go. Gets the revive. Um, Frontliner, unfortunately, doesn't have enough for a teleport and a, a revive, and he gets caught by Rick James and Gallard with the wall out the look. Um, that is uh, really unfortunate. I really dislike that kind of play as well. Uh, Ballas has been taken out. Uh, Frontliner has been frozen. And it seems the red team are going to take the uh, the victory again. The wheel of fate is turning. Uh, so yeah, Rebel. and we'll have to see if uh, green team can turn this around. Um, at the moment, it's not looking uh, particularly promising. There's currently uh, uh, two wins to uh, to none. Um, now this time, green team opting to go fully into the uh, the middle. Um, last time, Auron did uh, go for the teleport behind. Um, it did, it did, it did, it's not that it didn't pay off, but um, uh, in the end it didn't pay off. But Frontliner has gone through the teleporter, um, he is fighting against Gallard over there, and uh, it's not looking particularly good, he's taking a lot of damage, he has to teleport out, Zippy with the follow, and it looks like, oh, another teleport from Frontliner, and he gets through that teleport just in time, he is going to uh, hang in there just a little bit longer, he's running straight over here, he's going to try and provide some support. Unfortunately, Chasm was just uh, stuck between Galard and Zippy, and he just couldn't get the support that he needed. So we got Oren and Ballas uh, fighting down here with uh, the rest of the team. Uh, Frontliner trying his best to take out uh, Galard, but unfortunately, he didn't really work out, and now he's stuck in an extremely bad, uh, a bad situation. So he's going to come in with that rock, and he does manage to take him down. So now, uh, the only people left on the green side are the uh, the two lemons uh, that they have, Oren and Ballas. Revive comes in from Oren, he does manage to get up both of the, uh, the other green members. Uh, Frontliner teleporting out straight away. Unfortunately, Oren has gone down. Um, and now Ballas has been quick to fall. And so they've got the two other members of here. Chasm has got enough for revive. Frontliner almost has enough for revive. Um, and so basically they need to uh, to get through and uh, use that revive. Chasm does go through. He is going to go for the revive straight away. He gets Oren back up. And now Frontline has gone through. Revive comes up as well. Uh, Frontline didn't actually use that. I think it was Ballas. Uh, or someone actually used that, but it's not looking good for green team. Uh, all of red team would just come in and start taking them all out. Frontliner is the last one alive. He does have enough for a revive though, uh, but he opts to use um, a teleport instead. And so now he's just basically has to buy more times so if he can get another revive. He almost takes out Zippy, uh, with Zippy with the teleports trying to get around as best as he can. Uh, Frontliner getting hit by a lot of different stuff and he does get taken out. So that is another win uh, for the red team. Oh, my, uh, is my my throat and uh, mouth are really starting to get a bit achy from uh, from doing this? Oh, um, uh, it seems that someone has left. Well then, good night. Was that Bala's? Uh, it seems that Bala has uh, has left.
So thank you uh, for joining us. Uh, Sind. Oh, wow. Uh, Sind's here. I haven't seen Sind in a while. Uh, so we've got quite a few people. Um, it seems that Auron has also left. Um, so we'll just have to, you know, get some. I guess there are new captains. Yeah, we're going to have uh, new captains. So I guess we can have Fanner and Sind since they're the new. Uh, two new. Uh, uh, sorry, I forgot to take off everyone from the teams. Alright, so we've got Fanner and Sind. Uh, as the captain, so Fana, um, I hope if I was clicking the right thing, Fana, pick one person. I'm, I'm gonna quickly take a drink, as my throat is absolutely killing me. Whoa. Now we're just waiting for Fana to hopefully, uh, pick someone. Um. All right, so he said Rick. Apparently, he did it like just before uh, I even said that thing. So he's gone for Rick. Where's Rick? All right, so Sind pick two. Let's <laughs> uh, see who he opts to go for. Who's he got a choice? He's got a choice from Solar Chasm, Frontline, Zippy, Galard, and some new person called Sewon. Not a good idea to make me captain. Oh, don't be like this. I don't care. Just, um, pick. Yeah, it doesn't take that much effort just to pick two people from the list. Um, sorry. Uh, just replying to something real quick. Alright, so as he actually said, Mickey plus, uh, he's, uh, so he's gone for Frontliner and Soul, so, uh, Frontliner and Soul. Um. So we get Fana to pick two as well. Uh, he has a choice between Chasm, Zippy, Galord, and so on. So he's gone for Zippy and Gallard, and it seems that the last person alive, or the last person here, is um, uh, was Chasm. So we're just going to jump straight into this. Alright, so, let's see how things go. On the green team, we have got Fana, Zippy, Rick, and Galord. On the red team, we have got Solar, Frontliner, Chasm, and Sind. Uh, pretty standard split, um, 2-2 two to, two to split on both sides. Uh, we'll have to see how this kind of goes out. So we've got Rick and Solar fighting against Galord and Chasm up here at the top. Uh, at the bottom, we've got Frontliner and Sind up against Fana and Zippy. So it's kind of interesting Um, see how, uh, how things turn out. We have got this... Definitely a two versus two um, situation going on. Well, actually, it's more like a one versus one at the moment uh, across the board. Zippy taking huge amount of damage from both Chasm and Frontliner. It does manage to take him down. Unfortunately, Rick James was not there in time to be able to spot him. Sin trying to heal up Frontliner as best as he can. He did get frozen, but he has managed to survive that. Uh, so we got Solar almost getting taken out by Galord there. Um, Chasm not really helping out as much. And we got Fanus getting supported by Rick James as Sins and Frontliner are pushing in on them. Uh, so we got this two versus two down here at the bottom. We got two versus one up here, and Gallard's doing rather well, uh, uh, hanging on against those two players. But it looks like frontline is possibly going to go down. But Solo comes in with those heals, keeping him him uh, just up in time. Fana now taking huge amount of damage. Rick James doesn't seem to have noticed, and he isn't really providing support. Frontline comes in with a teleport, and Fana's trying his best to stay alive, but he does go down to the fire ticks. And it looks like frontline, uh, the frontline looks like Rick James is possibly going to end up following the same, and Red Team have managed to take the victory. 
All right, so let's uh let's see how this one goes. And uh, green team, um, not exactly sure what's going on there. Didn't seem to really want to go through. Uh, we got frontliner and sin down here at the bottom yet again. And at the top we've got Solar and uh, we got Chasm. Uh, Solar's taking a huge amount of damage from uh, Rick James. He did teleport in on top of him. It's just a lot of AoE spam at this point. It looks like Solar is about to go down. He tries to ward the wrong thing and takes out from that fire take with frontliner straight away with that uh, with that revive, getting him back up. Ah, excuse me. And um, so now we kind of got everyone uh, all over the place. There isn't. Uh, there's a lot of uh, chaos going on in Fana. Um, not a, a great position, but he has got Zippy there with some support. Frontliner actually uh, opting to move down over here to start helping out. Chasm has been taken out, so he is moving over here to get support from his teammates. Gallard has been frozen. He almost gets taken out by Frontliner, uh, being frozen, but uh, unfortunately doesn't manage to do so. Frontliner gets launched, goes for the teleport, and he does manage to get out. But now Rick James and Zippy both teleporting in. Frontliner in a bit of a bad situation. He can't really get the heals from his team, but he just managed to move through, and they can possibly get to him now. Uh, Sin now coming in. Uh, he looks like he's almost going to get frozen. Front, uh, Fanner is pushing pretty hard on him, and Sin is kind of hanging in there. But they are doing a really good job of keeping each other alive. But Gallard now with the teleport right in between them all. Starts spamming that AoE lightning, and it's not looking good for the red team at the moment. Frontliner has extremely low health, and he does get taken out at the same time. So does Solar. And so now Sin is the final person uh, left alive. Water push from Rick James, forcing him into the wall. Um, almost getting um, uh, frozen there, but he does get the double revive. Complex comes in from Gallard. Does manage to take out uh, one person, but it seems like Solar got taken out by someone else. The frontliner is going to go down uh, to um, them. So that's like wow, I didn't actually realize, but that was the uh, the other way around. So now it is currently one one in terms of uh, in terms of uh, the scoreboards. All right, so we'll have to see how this uh, how this goes from here. So we have got these uh, these standard two versus two. Right, so we got Solar and uh, Chasm up here at the top now this time. Uh, actually, no, that's uh, that's always like that. And front, uh, Frontliner and Synth. Uh, teleport comes in from Zippy. Uh, tries to put down his mines underneath um, uh, Synth. And, <laughs> bit of a laggy, laggy stuff going on. Looks like Zippy should be getting hit by this thing. And then he wards all of a sudden out of nowhere. But this just looks like a bunch of chaos. And it looks like both Zippy and um, Synth are going to drop down. Synth has been revived by Frontliner. Uh, Fana with the teleport in. And uh, Rick James is currently trying to take out Frontliner. He does manage to get the ward on just in time. But he does go down from Rick James's spray and storm. Uh, so now we've got Chasm about to take down Rick James but he does manage to water push away. Uh, Sind has managed to get the storm down over the top of Rick James. He is on extremely low health. He's trying his best to take him down. And the fan is doing a really good job of keeping him in and he gets his health all the way back over the top. Really well done him by uh, by him there but Sol now has managed to uh, take out uh, the other person over the top but there is a revive uh, for Zippy. He has got back up now but now there's revives everywhere. And uh, it's gone back up to a 4 versus 4. But unfortunately, Gallard is in a, like, a very bad position. He can't get support from his teammates. Uh, Zippy is trying to keep people alive, but Rick James has been frozen. He almost gets taken out. Uh, but Zippy uh, managed to keep him alive there. And Fanda in a very bad situation. But Zippy, again with the heals, doing a really good job of supporting his team. But it's not looking good. He hasn't really got the support himself. And he's extremely low. Frontliner with the teleport, and he does manage to take him down. And now Rick James. Um, on pretty low health, he's almost going to get frozen. Uh, he's hanging in there just barely, and there's currently a 3 versus 4 in Red Team server. Uh, look over here, Red Team actually have just lost their uh, other member. Gallo did manage to take out um, Chasm by the looks of it. And uh, Revive comes in, and it has gone back to a 3 versus 3. And uh, we'll have to see how this kind of turns out. Front Frontline is on extremely low health. Fanner comes in, he almost takes Marble Frontline with the teleport, but now Gallo runs straight over, and they do manage to take him down with Sin straight away with another Revive, getting their teammates back up. Uh, hanging in there best as can. Solar, extremely low health at the moment. Synth has been frozen by um, by Rick James. Gets caught by that knockdown. Almost in that zombie. Does get taken out. And it's not looking good for Red Team at all. It is currently down to a 3 versus 1. And Solar is on his own. He does not have enough for revive at this point. He's just ringing away Rick James with the teleport. And AoE lightning. Nobody oh. My head is getting uh, a bit... Um, I don't even know, but... This is taking a lot out of me, <laughs> doing all of this. Not used to it anymore. So, uh, what do we have here? We've got Rick James um, and uh, Chasm fighting it out here. Actually, we have uh, kind of like a 3 versus 2 there and a 2 versus 1 down here in the bottom. Uh, Fana fighting against Solar. we kind of got Frontliner in the back, just providing uh, support uh, towards everyone. Uh, Fana with the teleport actually coming in.
tries to take out Solar, but he has a ran straight away. Now he's dealing with Frontliner. And uh, we'll have to see how this kind of turns out. Frontliner is taking a lot of damage, but so is Fana, and he has to kind of move away. Jules the teleport Frontliner, tries with the follow. Um, Fana puts on the wrong mines there, but he does manage to block that just in time, and it's not looking good. Teleport comes from Frontliner is following him. Uh, two of Red Team actually have been taken out by Green. Um, it's not looking uh, very good for them. Is that Solar with the with the haste running across the map? He does have enough for revive. Yeah, he, uh, he gets up one of his teammates. Chasm does have enough for the revive. He can go and revive Sind. He has managed to do that. It is currently now at four versus four. Uh, Chasm on extremely low health. Sind as well. Um, Chasm looking like he is almost going to go down, uh, but Sind comes in with those heals. Uh, just keeping up uh, alive. We got Fana rushing over to uh, to support with his teams, and now we're going to get a four versus four. Uh, over here, um, uh, Sola almost getting frozen there, he gets the ward on just in time. Uh, but now Sin coming over with the support, Chasm with the teleport. Uh, trying to get back, everyone just kind of all over the place, but there's more red team down here. Chasm is getting heals from Frontline, he's doing a great job. Fana does not unfortunately manage to take him out. Uh, we still got the, actually no, we have a 3 vs 4, Sola has gone down, Sin is extremely low health, he teleports out. Um, it looks like Chasm is going to go down as well. Sin could not get the heals in just in time. Gallard extremely low health with Fana comes in with some last minute heals. <laughs> it looks like Zippy tried to get um, a team kill on. Um, he's trying to get a team kill on Gallard by throwing his uh, his weapon at him there. And right, so we'll have to go. Yep, Zippy is uh, going for Gallard. It doesn't seem like them two uh, having a particularly good time at the moment. Um, now teleport comes in from Rick James. Goes in between Sin and Frontline. It's not looking like it's going to do. With Particularly great job, uh, Fana with those heal there doing a great job, Sin didn't really uh, make the most of it, I think he uh, clicked the wrong thing and uh, didn't manage to block the heals in time. Uh, so now we've got uh, Sin uh, fighting against Fana here, Frontliner pushing towards Rick James, and then we've got just got Zippy and Galard fighting it out for some strange reason, and Zippy forces his way through and he actually takes out his teammate. Um, not 100% sure why uh, he wanted to do that, he did say he would try and team kill him if he got the chance, and he... Uh, he did just that. Now Frontliner having to teleport out. He's on extreme low health. Sin, extreme low health as well. Zippy with a teleport in. Is he going to be able to take him out? Tries to push Sin, but he unfortunately doesn't get up. Fana comes in with the finish. Frontliner now is the last person alive. He does not have enough for a revive. Uh, it's not looking particularly good at this moment. It seems like this is going to be a win in green team's favor. But we'll, uh, we'll see. You know, Frontliner could turn this around. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't turn it around. Uh, great job by Rick there. Rick got uh, double digits. Uh, the only person. Uh, next highest being six. So well done to, uh, well done to Rick there. Alright, uh, awesome. Uh, so people, I need, oh, I need to just get a drink and have a little bit of a breather. This is taking a lot out of me at the moment. Ah, <sighs> um, I'm just kind of reading what people are kind of saying when I have a little bit of a um, a little bit of a breather here. Um, I will not be playing um, as I've uh, as I've mentioned. Um, we have got eight people, so we can keep going. Um. Seems that Frontliner is a uh, point to spectate at this moment. Do videos early, Mickey. Well, this wasn't early when I started. It was um, eight o'clock, which is fine. Like I'm not tired. It's just the the whole talking and stuff. But it's what? What? It was like six a.m. or something when it started for you. So even if I did them earlier, um, it'd be even even earlier for you. Um, I don't know. It's 8 a.m. now, but yeah, because we've been going on for two hours and we started uh, at 8 for me, which is 6 for you, well, 6 a.m. for you. Alright, seems like people are leaving, I'm just going to give them uh, a chance to do so. You stayed up all night for this. Uh. Or you could have went to bed early and got up at 6, rather than staying up till 6. Alright, so it seems that Deleming has now joined as well. 
Um, I'm going to quickly take off everyone uh, from these uh, from the teams. Galad wants to do Warfare. Frontliner wants to do Soul Harvest. Rick James wants to do Warfare. Banner wants to do Soul Harvest. Solo wants to do Soul Harvest. Everyone's just. I don't know um, how many we have for each one. Just do something. Um, um, I'm not sure which one. Which one we want to do? Uh, what about Team DM? No one mentioned. No one mentioned Team DM, but we did just do a Team DM match. Um, I don't know what to do though. It's up to you guys. I'm the one talking. That like, you guys are the one playing. All right. Well, um, all right. We'll do. Uh, we'll do a warfare, and then we'll do a salt harvest. So, um, on this map. All right, we need captains. So Deleming has just joined, and Rick James uh, recently kind of joined. Oh, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be doing this for, because I don't know how much more I can I can do this. <laughs> I'm kind of uh, dying at the moment. Um, has Deleming? Deleming has not picked anyone just yet. So hopefully he does uh, does that relatively soon. Um, I was gonna do some YouTubing. Any tips? I don't know. <laughs> I just, I just, you know, started doing it. I just said what I was. It was like, what are you, what are you gonna do for you, like for YouTube? I mean, all I did was just recorded what I was doing and what I was playing and said stuff. That's there's not much else to it, at least as far as I'm concerned. Did the lemon actually say anything yet? Nope. Nope. Fanner sinned. Alright, he gets one pick, so I'm gonna go with Fanner because he said Fanner first. He's going for Frontliner and Solar. Um, I don't know, record me being laggy bastards. Yeah, you could do that. I mean, if you want to, like, you know, just do that and then just talk over the top while you do it. Just talk about what you're doing with your lag. Thinned and Galord. Okay, last person is Zippy. Zippy, you are getting to play. Um, so I'm just going to jump straight in. Yeah, I obviously I don't really do my recording of actual like gameplay um, anymore, but that's 
One, it's mainly because obviously I've been really busy. Um, uh, I've been really busy, so I haven't really had the chance to do so. Uh, but also because it, it like my laptop isn't the best, so recording and playing at the same time is a. Uh, it's quite difficult, so I can't play as well as when I'm not recording, uh, which makes the footage that I get not so great. But uh, I am currently, obviously, I'm trying to get a job at the moment because I'm coming to the end of my degree and I will be graduating. And so if I do get a job, I'm going to be buying a better, uh, better laptop uh, so I can actually do that. So anyway, we've got a fight here. We've got Lemming and Sin fighting against Rick and uh, Zippy. Uh, so let's see how this uh, kind of goes. Um, so Rick and Zippy have done a great job here. They have managed to capture this point. They managed to force Sind off it. And Sind is actually taking a lot of damage at the moment. Um, and the Lemming is also is about to go down. Uh, Sin did not manage to get the heals there. Rick did, did a great job of holding him off. Uh, so now they're definitely going to get this point and Sind is looking like he was going to go down. To be fair, Rick James or Zippy could um, have easily have moved off to somewhere else there and let the other one finish him off because Sind was on such low, ha uh, low HP. Um, here we've got Solar and Frontliner fighting against Fana and Gallo, and it's uh, not particularly looking like it's in Fana and Gallo's favor. They were on lower health, but they are kind of hanging in there. Solar tries to go for the uh, Mela special, but um, he had to go off somewhere else. Sin now uh, doing what he does best and just uh, gonna go control the map and start capturing somewhere else. So Red Team are doing. Um, Red Team have actually captured all the other points. Sin um, is gonna try and have to try. <laughs> He's going to try and capture this point, but uh, it's not looking particularly good for him. The other green member needs to get up here, but Sol is taking huge amounts of damage. It looks like he is possibly going to go down. If Sin just managed to take him out here, then... Oh, it's so close. Oh, he went for the wrong thing, and he does take him out. Oh my god, Sin is actually managed to keep this, because Red Team opted to go for the other place. I don't know why they all chose to run down the bottom, but Sin managed to keep uh, keep his team in. Not, like, it was well done to Sin, but more not good from red team because they all ran down to the bottom for some strange reason. I have no idea why. But anyway, uh, so green team are now definitely going to try and get this push out to start capturing everywhere else. Uh, but red team have forced them off this point so they're not going to have any more uh, to keep this. They really should have kept someone there to try and capture that. Uh, they have got Lemming over here. Fanner is going to run this point so the Argonists are capturing it but oh my god. And Lemmings just ran straight off this point. He needs to get on the point. There you go, he's getting on the point now, and they are going to start capturing it again. But Fanner is getting pushed off, they're so close to capturing it, Fanner just needs to get on. There we go, they managed to finally capture that point. Oh god, they're not doing the, um, not doing particularly well in terms of, uh, the whole, you know, warfare, uh, aspect of this game. But now Dilemming is going to run away somewhere else, he's going to leave Fanner to fight with Soul. Slur is extremely low health, so that's well done by Fanner, uh, getting out there. But Fanner taking a huge amount of damage. From that, knee is going to take him out with those shards. Uh, so, great team. How much to secure a point um, and get uh, magic clear that way out of the Gallo just needs to kind of uh, fall back and get to this point rather than uh, just staying there. So, he is going to do that. He uh, managed to want to push just a little bit and he's going to move back onto this point. Uh, so, we'll have to see how, how well Frontliner um, and, uh, well, sorry, how well Gallo can do against Frontliner here. Obviously, he wants to capture this point, so he wants to try and keep him off as long as possible. Um, obviously, you don't have to use water push to do that. Um, if uh, Galar can keep up the pressure, he can actually. This great, uh, great, um, <sighs> great ward is what I was trying to get um, by Galar there in time, um, and then get the water push. But unfortunately, frontliner has teleported on. They are going to start capturing this point. This is actually Red Team's final. Uh, it was their final point, but they have managed to secure the bottom one now. Uh, so this is a uh, quite an intense fight. Um, there is use of magics, which uh, are obviously. Uh, not very good for one versus one, but obviously this is warfare, so they are fine and uh, using this. It's, it's not really a problem. We'll have to see how this goes. But Zippy is now coming on. He is going to start helping out. Red team have going to capture this point, and Galo is going to try and rush out there as fast as he can. Uh, Frontliner with the teleport, he is going to manage to take him down. Uh, Sind is now rushing over here. Um, he is going to meet the resistance um, of uh, Frontliner. He almost gets the uh, the freeze, but unfortunately, uh, Frontliner managed to ward in time. And now Sind knows exactly what he needs to do. Just get straight through onto this point. Um, and he's going to have to just try and hold back Frontliner. If he can keep up the damage, he can keep Frontliner away and he does actually force him back. Uh, so now Green Team are going to be able to secure this point. So looking at the map, we now have uh, Zippy uh, actually coming this way. He's going to meet up with uh, with Sin there. We've also got Frontliner still trying to heal up here. He's going to end up with Galo and Lemmy. But Lemmy is going to just push straight past. He knows that he doesn't um, 
He doesn't really need to uh, to deal with this. They can leave him into a one versus one. We have got another fight down here. We've got Fana fighting against Sola, who's trying to fight at this point, but Sola not in a good situation. He's on extremely low health. The fire takes are slowly taking his health down. That's not um, a very good thing for him. Um, and it looks like he is possibly going to go down, and he does get taken out by Fana as Synth has now come over here. So they're going to definitely uh, take over this point. I'm not 100% sure who is currently winning at the moment. I feel that um, probably his red team have got more spawn to oh yeah <laughs> they definitely have more spawn teams they uh, currently 25 uh, for the green team uh, so we'll have to see how this uh, kind of goes out Sin gets frozen by Rick James tries to get the shot up unfortunately it was uh, he did manage to get it off in time uh, but red team um, red team just need to kind of hold this if they can keep it at this point um, uh, keep this number of uh, spawn points they can take it down uh, to zero tokens and then they uh, obviously they can take it from there and win uh, the match but we'll have to see if green team can uh, pull something out but he does get taken out by that imp uh, unfortunately so now Rick James getting heals up from frontliner and it seems that uh, Sind is going to have to start trying to fall back uh, haste coming in from Rick James they are going to start following him uh, but Rick James is actually he's kind of deciding to go fight him at the same time and not in comes the lemming he's going to try and support Sind uh, he can't really get the heals to him, but he didn't really um, need to at this point. Rick James has actually opted to come down here instead, and they're going to just uh, try and capture this point straight away. They don't really need to, uh, because they have got the spawn point, uh, spawn token advantage, but um, it just basically is going to end the match even faster. Zippy, extremely low health um, at the moment. Gallo trying to take him out, but he doesn't manage to do so. Uh, green team are actually managed to capture the top right point. I feel they're going to probably end up hitting 10 tokens uh, relatively soon. Um... Oh wow, no, they've ran out of tokens uh, just straight up. I thought they would have had more, but apparently not. Uh, so green team are in a very bad situation here. They've got two against three down here. Uh, they're on extremely low health. They have got a third coming in. He's going to since going to start uh, healing up Fana. Galar is a bit of a bad situation. He is currently out of the way. We have got the fourth green member coming in, um, who obviously wants to kind of get there and start supporting his teammates. Rick James is looking like he is possibly going to go down, but Galar unfortunately makes a mistake and he gets frozen. Sol is on extremely low health as well. Both Rick James and Sol are on extremely low health. Sind managed to get the freeze on Zippy, but of course Zippy is in that plus earth, and so he can just stay inside of that. He doesn't have to worry about it. Um, and Sol are coming in. Uh, Conflict comes in from Sid. He does manage to take out Zippy. Revive straight away uh, from Sol by the looks of it, getting his teammate back up. They didn't actually need to do that, but uh, it saves them a spawn token and keeps them in the fight just a little bit longer. But Sol has now gone down. Green team are doing a really good job now that they've actually all met up together. They're really hanging in there. But they've got 40 tokens that they have to burn through, so it's uh, it's still quite a long ways until they can possibly get this. They do manage to capture this point, which is obviously really good because that takes them down by four um, straight away. And they need to keep doing this. They need to kind of push their way around the map. Zippy almost he actually does get taken down. He tries to teleport out, but uh, that steam storm, uh, that steam spray with its um, weird range that is longer than it should be. Um, so. Rick, uh, Galot, sorry, is actually out of position here, but he does teleport back, and uh, Fan is going to be there with the spot. So Green Team actually have two uh, spawn points to um, Red Team's one, so they're going to be ticking down pretty quickly. I mean, they're already dropped down by 15 uh, since the um, kind of like the start of this uh, four versus four. But we'll have to kind of see how Red Team um, managed to put on the pressure and whether Green Team can hold them off long enough for them to be able to drop them to zero tokens. So Rick James in a very bad situation. He does get taken out by Synth. Um, that was really well done. Saw that he was inside of that lightning storm and made use of the uh, the water like the water variant of Steam so that he did get the wet star. Zippy looking like he is possibly going to go down. But Fana tries to take him out, but um, Galard comes in and did manage to actually help him take him out there in the end. Green team doing a really good job. They just seem to have this. Um, they just seem to have this uh, this teamwork down. Uh, they, 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 sorry, I, I was looking at something for, uh, very briefly. So they really have got this teamwork now. But now we see this um, red team are now back capping. Um, if, <laughs> to be fair, it's a pretty um, it's pretty late. Uh, they really should have um, done this earlier on, um, so that they wouldn't lose the points so fast. Um, and now they're down to nine, and they are currently fighting a three versus or a two versus four uh, down here at the bottom. So it's really not worked out for for, for red team. They really could have count, like um, made use of capturing that spawn point so they wouldn't drop down so quickly. And now they're currently in a bit of a bad situation because Zippy is fighting up here on his own, um, and Green Team have really got um, a good support going on here. But uh, Rick James with the teleport in, Frontliner with the teleport in, Fana in a bad situation. He's stuck between all of these people. Zippy 
Uh, again, just keeping Gallard um, busy at the moment. A frontliner has pushed his way in. And uh, green team, again, really dispersed at the moment. They only have five tokens left for red team. Uh, so this is where it's going to come down to how this uh, how this turns out. Because um, Zippy has actually been taken out by Gallard. Um, so red team are currently adding frontliner as well. This is uh, where it matters. I think that Solar and Rick James should push uh, should fall back right now. Um, yeah, they're picking on the map. They know they should fall back. Rick James is getting way too aggressive at the moment, and it's not going to pay off uh, for him. They have got their final uh, revives, uh, the respawn, sorry. And Solar is going to get taken out. They really should have fall, uh, fallen back at that point. It's really not looking good for them. Green team have done a really great job here. They've managed to uh, to hold on from essentially about 50 tokens in. Um, and uh, basically turn this entire thing around. Red team really just couldn't get that um, that uh, foothold uh, against green team's defense, and now they're just chasing them down at this point. This is pretty much going to be the end. Uh, they're both on extremely low health. They can't stop to heal up as well. Uh, using the EWW to try and um, heal up as they run away. Uh, some of the green, one of the green members actually opted to run somewhere else. Frontliner is in half ward, uh, which is allowing him to get some heals from Zippy. But now they're going to opt to go down and someone's going to be here and waiting. We've got Gallard uh, ready and waiting. He's going to start firing stuff up uh, here and it's not looking good. So now I have managed to uh, lock them in here um, a little bit. Uh, but they're going to try and just get back as, uh, as soon as possible. Uh, back together, push around. But they're taking so much damage at this point. And it's not looking good. Zippy is going to go down here and Frontliner drops at the same time. Really well done to Green Team there turning that around. Uh, congratulations uh, to them. Oh man, that one took a lot out of me. That definitely took a lot out of my voice uh, and my uh, my throat and such. I'm just gonna need another drink real quick. Uh, all right, I think I'm gonna have one play one last game. And then I'm going to stop. And, uh... Um... Soul Harvest, Warfare, Soul Harvest, Soul Harvest, Training. Um, so currently there is, um... There's three for Soul Harvest, and there's only one for Warfare. At the moment, it is currently majority into Soul Harvest's favor, but there is, it's two three at the moment, and it's just the same people saying it over and over again. We need kind of like the other people to chime in. Uh, Sind wants to do warfare, so it's currently three three um, at the moment. We need Fanner's vote. Fanna said Soul Harvest. Oh wait, I did not uh, count that. I don't know which one he did. Oh, uh, I don't know how many is there. Ugh. I don't, I don't know. Maybe he wants to leave Warfare. Um, well, I'm gonna take people off for now. It's currently a 4-4. Four, four. Um, I'll randomly pick. I'm going to very quickly uh, bring up a random number generator. So... Oh. Alright, so one... And two. Uh, I can put this up on the screen if you really want me to. Alright, so I'm going to say that Soul Harvest is one and Warfare is two, and I'm going to generate it in three, two, one. Okay, Soul Harvest one. Alright, so. Uh, let me just 
put up things. All right, so it seems that we're doing soul harvest. I apologize to anyone that um, they got it and who who got the one that they want. And so he's gonna leave. if he actually like leaves, that'd be annoying. All right, so captains. I need two captains, frontliner, and. Actually, no, no, not not frontliner. Sorry, um, I'm gonna have Solar and Rick because they're the two Americans. All right, so we're gonna have uh, Solar pick one, and he goes for Fana. Rick pick two. Oh, has he actually left? Ah. <sighs> well, I don't, it's the last game. Like it's the last one that I'm doing. I mean, you could have at least just stayed. One, two. Yeah, that was that was the last one. Now someone else has left. Yeah, I'm still not playing regardless. And it seems that everyone else... So it, means, it seems that we might not even end up doing the final match. Um, three versus three, I'm not playing. Regardless, I'm still not playing. I guess we're just going to have to do like team deathmatch for the final one then. Oh wow, someone's actually come back. Now he doesn't have to. Alright, so we got Stola, um, Zippy, Thind, The Lemming, um, oh. Alright, there we go. Alright, so this is the last match. And we're just gonna have a three versus three team deathmatch. So I'm just gonna jump straight in. I'm not waiting around for much more else. I've been doing this for two and a half hours, uh, pretty much. So we'll just have to see how this goes. So on the um, left hand side, the green team, we have got Sin, Zippy, and Dilemming. On the right hand side, the red team, we got Frontliner, Fana, and Solar. So we'll have to uh, see how this goes. We've got um, some affinities. We've got Zippy and his plus Earth, probably some plus health as well, and Fana with plus 50 Arcane, it seems. So let's see how this one, uh, how this one goes. Uh, so three versus three is a rather interesting um, one to go because you are obviously you you end up with a uh, you're gonna kind of end up with a one versus two quite often. But it seems that we've gone this two versus two uh, down with one dilemma taking huge amount of damage. Gets taken out instantly by Fana and uh, Frontline, and not looking good. Frontline taking huge damage as well, but Fana is going to heal up, and it seems that um, Zippy has been forced back by Solar straight away. Uh, so now, Sind is taking huge amounts of damage. It looks like he is going to fall down, and so now Zippy is the final person left for his team. Um, yeah, Green Team really didn't do that good of a job. It was mainly because Dilemming died straight away. They really need to uh, make sure they get the support together. Uh, before they actually, because um, as soon as one person goes down, it's very difficult uh, to kind of keep it together if you're too far away from your other teammate. So let's see how this one uh, turns out. And uh, so we've got everyone kind of all over the place uh, at the moment. And again, we get this 2-2 uh, two -two at the bottom and uh, one versus one at the top. We got so it's the exact same fight. We got one versus one. Uh, Solar and Zippy at the top. Uh, we got the bottom. We got Dilemming, Sin, Fana, and Frontliner. So Dilemming hasn't just ran straight in this time and taken a lot of damage. So we'll have to see if he uh, can manage to change his around. But Solar has managed to take out Zippy. Uh, so now Solar's going to start. Um, well, after he heals up, uh, he's going to start coming in. He starts dealing some damage to Sin. Uh, so it's not particularly looking good for Dilemming and Sin. They are in a bit of a bad situation because they are completely uh, they are surrounded at the moment. Sin straight away with that um, revive to Zippy. And he's going to have to try and heal back up, but Solar is straight away start doing some damage to him. Uh, Zippy's trying to actually heal up Sin. Um, the Lemming caught inside that storm, taking huge amounts of damage. Tries to get the heals from Zippy, but he did put up a dome, unfortunately. Sin now taking huge amounts of damage. He's been forced away from his team. Zippy trying his best 
to get across to the threat support and he does teleport over and starts healing up. Great job by Zippy there. But Solar has managed to take out uh, D Lemming and it's not looking good for Green Team yet again. Zippy and Sind are just too far out of position as uh, Zippy's trying his best to heal him up. But it's looking like Sind is going to fall frontliner with the teleport follow and he does go down. So now Zippy is the final person left for the team. He does have enough for revive but at this point I feel it's not really uh, worth um, make, it's not really worth using it because Sind would probably fall straight away. He doesn't have enough for a revive afterwards. So, this seems like it might be a pretty quick match, which I don't really particularly mind that much because uh, we're two and a half hours. So, um, we can end that pretty soon. But uh, we've got this. Um, we still, again, got this 2 2 at the bottom. Sind and Dilemming, Fanner and Frontliner. Solar and Zippy fighting it out at the top. So we'll have to see. Kind of actually split more into a, um, a 3 1 versus 1 at the moment. But Fanner is actually trying to help out Zippy, trying to heal up to Lemming. But um, Fanner doing a great job of stopping that. Comes in with those mice, he does manage to take out, um, take out Zippy. And it looks like Lemming may be quick to follow. He does get taken out by Solar. Revive did come in for, for Zippy. He does have enough. Oh no, he doesn't have enough for Revive because he had to teleport out. He tries to water push Fanner. But it didn't really work out. And it's, oh, Conflag comes in and Zippy takes him out. Wow, that is um, well done and also very rude that he used that. Uh, he almost manages to take out uh, Fanner yet again after the revive comes in from Solar, but it's not looking particularly great. Uh, he does teleport through, gets uh, all those heals from those mines. He has met up with Sin, but unfortunately Sin knocks um, him down with that um, with the dome, stopping his heals. Revive comes in from Sin onto Dilemming, but it looks like Sin is going to go down and uh, Dilemming could be quick to follow. He doesn't have enough to revive or anything, he has teleported out. Zippy's fighting against two people. We've got Frontliner fighting against Lemming because Lemming's on such low health. Oh, he was on such low HP. He's doing well to stay in, but I feel like this um, isn't going to go on particularly in his favor. Zippy has gone down. The Lemming is the final person left alive. A lot of steam coming in, and he does end up getting taken out. So that is a win into um, Red Team's favor. So congratulations to them. I'm going to end this here. Because I, I just, yeah, it's taken a lot out of me. So, uh, yeah, I don't even know what to say at this point. I was going to say well done to everyone. Um, thank you very much, uh, everyone who, uh, for watching. Thank you to everyone who joined in today. And, uh, yeah, I will possibly do this again at some point. Well, I will do this again at some point. I don't know when I will do this again. But uh, we shall see. I will put this video up on YouTube later if you've, might if you've missed it and you'll get to rewatch uh, all those matches. So, yeah. I'm just going to end the stream here. So, thank you all for watching. I've been Super Mickey J.